so we we will start with data warehousing and power bi so the for this power bi right so we need to have the sql basics okay so at least the data knowledge you should have so i will tell you what so what are what are the concepts you need to concentrate on sql part so here the system requirement to install this power bi is so i will tell you how to how to download and how to install so first of all we are going to install power bi desktop okay so this power bi desktop so we need to install this power bi desktop so latest version is so 2.84 is the latest version okay so i will tell you how to install it and how to install the sql part so i mean any sql server as well as oracle okay the system requirement is minimum you should have the 4 gb ram windows 8 or 10 is required okay so uh, this is very uh, a common requirement so if you have this so windows 8 or 10 and uh, 4 gb ram so definitely we can able to install so minimum requirement so i'm telling that minimum requirement for the power bi desktop before going to the power bi desktop so we will see why do we need this power bi and what is the usage of power bi everything so initial stages so we used to store the data in the excel sheet right so we used to store the data in excel sheet so for example if i want to store my customer information or my employee information i used to store in this particular excel sheet right so day by day the data volume has grown up and instead of one particular sheet they have come up with workbook so it has multiple sheets so by using this multiple sheets you can you can uh, load the data and even so the day by day the data volume has grown up right so we are we were not able to load all this data into this excel sheet then they have come up with solution called ms access so microsoft access so it's a kind of database but it's not a fully a database but it will store the data right so before ms access we used to store the data in excel sheet even like my MS access could not able to serve uh, the data, the requirement. Then the company they have they have uh, come up with solution called database management system, right? So DBMS. So database management system after that or DBMS. So relational database management system. So this is what the evolution of the data and the databases and everything, right? So after some time, say for example, if you have the data, the database, so they used to store, if you take any organization, right? So any organization, so each and every day, they will do the transactions, okay? So all the transactions we used to capture in this database. Database, right? So this database, so we will store the data in the database. And from the database, say for example, I am the one particular user. I'll be doing the transactions. At the end of the day, I want to check my status of the ticket or, or anything, okay, of my balance or anything. I want to check it. So, how will I check it? So, I will log in the front end tool. From this tool, I will be, it will be back and it will connect to the database and then it will show you the data. So, but think about the management. Okay, the manager, senior manager, directors, VPs, CEOs, all of them of the organization, they want to look at the data aggregations, right? So aggregated data they want to look at. So aggregated data in the sense, say for example, today is 4th August, so 11 a.m., right? So up to 11 a.m., so how much sales we have done, okay? So like this, I want to do a lot of analysis so those analysis i can do by aggregating lot of data not only single record so i need to aggregate with a lot of data so you are storing the data at the same time you are taking the data for reports so initial days like 1990s or 1985 in that range so it was it was performing well since there were very less volume of data so since the data volume has grown up, if you are loading the data on the same uh, same uh, database and filling the report for, so you are you are pulling the data for reporting, that this system will get impacted. Okay, 
this database will get impacted. So after that, they have come up with some solution called data warehousing. Okay, so they have come up with solution called data warehousing. So this is what data warehousing. So in this data warehousing, so what we will we will do? Say if you take any any organization, you take ICIC or HDFC or IRCTC. Okay, so any organization. Okay, so any any manufacturing companies, any automobile companies. So any insurance companies, okay, any e-commerce site, any any particular site, they want to analyze it. They want to analyze it at the end of the day. Right? How much sales has been done for today? So up to uh, up to 11 a.m. and so how much is the sales has been done? So various places. So regional wise sales, product wise sales, stocks, supply and demand. So if I'm going to increase uh, the forecasting, right? So if I'm going to increase, uh, uh, so say for example, if if, I have, if I'm going to increase one percentage of the product cost, so how much I'm going to get it? Okay. So manufacturing cost. So from from the uh, start of the manufacturing and uh, end of the manufacturing, how much I have spent and what? So what is the product amount? I need to fix it. So everything I have to analyze it right. So analysis, I cannot done it on the database, this particular database. Then I have come up with solution called data warehousing. Okay. So in 1986 itself, they have come up with solution called data warehousing. So after that, this database, okay, this database, we used to have this database for transactions. So this database, we will call it as OLTP system. OLTP is nothing but online transaction processing. Okay, online transaction processing. We will store transactional data. Say, for example, if you take banking, so whatever the transaction we do online or offline in the bank or ATM or through gateway or third party vendors, right? So if you do any transaction, it will be captured in this OLTP transaction processing okay so in this particular database this is also one of the database only say for example it's an oracle or sql server or db2 right so then for the analysis i'm going to have a separate database this is also a database only this database we will call it as OLAP system so OLAP is nothing but so online analytical processing so I'm going to use for analysis. So this particular data warehouse, I'm going to use it for analytical processing. Analysis purpose. So whatever I'm going to do analysis, I will do analysis on this data warehouse. So this is called data warehouse. Okay. So data warehouse. So nowadays this data warehouse uh, even be replaced with the data lake, right? So in the big data environment. So most of the data warehouse are replaced with the data lake. So data warehouse nothing but it will hold all the historical data. So in my so in my companies, organization historical data will be stored in this data warehouse. This is called OLAP. So normally this data warehouse, say for example, this one is like uh, this one is like uh, uh, OLTP, right? This one is OLAP. So this data warehouse, we will call it as historical data it will store. So this one normally in our real time, we used to have the databases like Teradata. So this is also one of the database or any of the big data environment, like say for example, it's a hive, right? So nowadays we used to store the data in hive. So it's like a, a hive data warehouse, right? So we used to store in the form of HTFS file systems, Hadoop distributed file systems. So this this comes under big data environment. Okay. So this is called data warehousing. So this is my OLTP and OLAP, right? So I need to load the data from this OLTP2 and OLAP. I need to load. So every day I need to load, right? Say for example, whatever the transaction happened today. I, at the end of the day, I need to load the data to data warehousing. 
load in the sense just copying the data so whatever the data has been inserted or updated in the database the oltp i will just copy it and load it into this data warehouse so for this i'm going to use one another one another tool called etl tool okay so this etl tool so what it will do i'm going to extract the data from the source okay i'm going to extract the data from source so extract it extract the data and transform the data okay so transform it so transform the data into single format why because we are going to have this applications oltp application in if i have multinational company it will have in multiple places multiple regions multiple countries multiple currency multiple languages multiple rules and regulation for the company for the uh, banking systems all those right so but the data warehousing is a single format so all the currencies is single currency we are going to maintain right mostly so i'm going to transform and load the data so transform in the sense most of the business applications business logic will be implemented in this transformation logic so i'm going to extract the data transform the data load the data into data warehouse this process we will call it a ctl process so if you consider our ircctc right so each and every day so 11:45 pm to 12:15 pm they will go for the maintenance okay they will go for the batch process so the batch will be running informatica or any of the tool right so this tool will be will be fetching the data so whatever the data has has been um, inserted or updated today so at the end of the day it will be loaded into this data warehouse so for the reporting purpose right so this tool so we do have a lot of tools are available in the market so lot of tools so one of the the most used tool is informatica power center okay informatica power center so we have the data stage so we have abnicio so i am telling this so why because we are since we are if you are going to work in power bi you are going to work in this particular etl tool also uh, you are not going to work in this etl tool but you are going to interact with this team okay so oracle data integrator microsoft ssis so that is sql server integration service okay so we do have lot of tools are available in the market so these are all some of the tools okay from sap we have sap bods okay so lot of tools are available in the market so by using any one of the tool it's based on the depends on the data volume and the company's choice budget so they will choose one of the tool and for the transaction process so they will take the data from here they would load it into the data warehouse so this is called etl process say for example so in my organization if they are going for some banking project side right? so instead of loading every day we used to load every half an hour once okay we used to load the data every half an hour once so that means instead of going for every day we are going for half an hour once why because the data volume is very high if you go for one day then volume is in the in terms of billions so this tool will perform very slowly so that is why we are going for every half an hour once it will it will be uh, we will be pulling the data from oltp and loading into olap so I, as i said nowadays the olap is again uh, it has been replaced with the hadoop environment right so what we will do so normally even this is teradata will load only the only the structured data so it will handle structured data so nowadays most of the data warehousing is going to handle like unstructured data as well okay say for example facebook amazon okay flipkart so ola uber uh, the netflix so like this we they are using like most of the unstructured data so to handle this unstructured data they will go for clustered computations 
so that will be your big data environment okay so whatever the environment we are going to use so they will analyze it more on this data they will do a lot of machine learning and artificial intelligence on this data warehousing and the big data environment again they will give some feedback to the oltp system say for example recommendations so review comments review ratings so the best sellers right so uh, the trending products so these kind of analysis so if you consider the youtube so based based on our watch time they will give you the recommendations right recommendations and the impressions and all the all the videos right so how they are giving for each and every individuals so they have implemented lot of analysis part in this data warehousing and then they will do analysis by using any of any of the machine learning or ai concepts and again they will feed back to oltp system so this is what we will see that data recommendations all those right so even instead of giving the feedback again they will give the data to reports so normally from data warehousing we are going to fetch the data for reporting purpose so reports we do have lot of reports so what kind of reports are available in the market so in the market we do have lot of reporting tools so one of the uh, the most powerful tool nowadays they are having it here it's like a tableau so we are using most of the companies are choosing tableau now so competition with the tableau we are having the power bi right so power bi from microsoft so previous to this power bi we used to have msbi microsoft business intelligence so now they have renamed with some concepts they have implemented lot of changes in the power bi tool and they have come up with the tool called power bi okay so microsoft power business intelligence so this is the power bi tool then we do have the tool called click view click view or click sense so even in power bi they have implemented lot of ai concepts artificial intelligence so nowadays no need to create any any views you can type it in the chat so automatically it will create the views okay so so this is what the uh, ai implementation they have done in power bi as well so previous to this we do have a lot of uh, tools like cognos so we have ibm cognos so it's a legacy reporting tool and we have sap bivo so business object right so we do we do have lot of tools are available micro strategy and we do have zoom data so like this we have lot of tools oba so oracle business intelligence right so like this we have lot of tools are available in the market so here we are going to use one of the tool called power bi so why we are calling it as ba business intelligence is nothing but so each and every day we need to track our business if you don't track your business or your competitions if you don't watch your competition and you will you will lose your business right so to avoid this this kind of uh, loss or or any in the future the new technology is coming or anything so in order to analyze it with all the business and the, all the competitors we are going for the dashboard so we are creating the dashboard and we are giving it to them then the business people will analyze it and then they have come up with some solutions okay so this is called the power bi power bi or tableau or click view or click sense as i told so for this this environment okay this is the environment in real time so even if you are going for any big data environment or or data science environment so this is what we are going to see in real time right so we do we used to have the oltp system it will have all the transactions we are going to analyze it process it and again we are feeding back to the oltp as a recommendation best sellers so there are a lot of analysis okay the the review comments based on the review comments will go for the ratings on the the retailers right so first retailer second retailer like this we will arrange it the ranking on the based on the retailers based on the review review points right 
So based on the deliveries, so we are going to uh, rank it the delivery partners, and based on the vendors, if in, again there we are going to have the vendors, right? So a lot of analysis we will do on this data, and then we will come up with some solutions, right? So this kind of analysis we will do in our real time. So this is called data warehousing environment. So day to day, this is what is happening. So do you have any doubts in this uh, data warehousing? Why do we need data warehousing? What is OLTP? What is OLAP? So what is the uh, the question? Question is what is the full form of ETL? So ETL is nothing but extraction, transformation, and loading. So we are going to extract the data from the OLTP, transform the data into a single format, load the data into data warehousing environment. So that is the concept of ETL. So, so if you consider the ETL process, so if you consider this particular uh, uh, the images, if you see here we have a lot of uh, data sources, right? So RDBMS or SQL Server or flat file or anything. We are going to do the extraction. After that, we are going to do the, tra the transformations, load the data into data warehouse. So from the warehouse, we are going to do the analytics, analytics part. So any organization, if you take a Flipkart, so they do have a lot of a lot of products, right? So each and every product, they want to analyze it. Okay, so if I'm going to use some big billion day, so from the August 16 to 6 to 8, I'm going to introduce. So so for this big billion day, how much sales we have achieved? Okay, they want to analyze it. So last year. So how much we have achieved this year what how much we are going to achieve so so everything they will calculate before going for the uh, the business right so normally they will analyze it the business people will analyze it more and then they will come up with some decisions so if, uh, if they are going to introduce a new product okay so new product in the market then they will uh, they will check so what is the use of this particular, what is the response of this particular product in the market? And they will come up with some decisions, right? Say for example, so each and every, every transactions or every whatever the business we do, so everything is like a analytics, right? So we need to analyze it. At the end of the day, we need to analyze it more on the data. And then we need to take a decision based on this Analytics side. So based on the data, I need to take the report. So this is the different process which are available in data warehousing and business intelligence. So first one, we are going to aggregate the data. So as I told, it's a ETL process. We are going to aggregate the data from heterogeneous source system to a data warehouse. And then we are going to present the data to this reports by using any reporting tool like Tableau or ClickView or Power BI or any other tool. And we are going to, the business people, they are, they are going to do analysis on the data, right? So they will do a lot of analysis. So forecasting analysis. So whatever the analysis they want to do, all the analysis they will do it in, the, uh, in this particular tool. And then they will take some decisions. So this is what will happen in the real time. So you may ask questions. So why can't we directly take the data from the databases from the OLTP? Why do we need data warehousing, right? The answer is, so if you if you are going to take data directly to this OLTP, as I told, so you are going to run a multiple reports, then it will get impacted. Okay, this system will get impacted. To avoid this, the performance issue, we are going to load the data into data warehouse. So this data warehouse is also a database, but it will handle huge volume of data. Okay, it handle huge volume of data. So normally we will go for teradata or big data environment. So why? Because teradata will handle all the uh, data in the parallel parallel way. So parallelism will be done in the data warehousing. So we do have a lot of uh, tools are available in the market. So Tableau, 
click view click sense power bi zoom data so like this we do have a lot of tools so if you are choosing a power bi okay so these are all the different products which are available in power bi so we are going to use this power bi desktop as i told we are going to use the power bi desktop to create the dashboard okay so dashboard is nothing but visualization so for this say for example if you are going to any project so first of all you need to consider on the data side so first you have to prepare on the data preparation so you need to prepare on the data right so data is very important you are going to do the preparation on the data then we are going to connect the data sources and then you are creating the reports then only you are creating the dashboards right so you are going to create the dashboard and that dashboard will be published so you have to publish the dashboard to the server that the customer they are going to visualize our data in the form of pictorial representation and then from there they will be taking a lot of decisions right i got one question data warehousing is single format does that mean data must be in the same form yes it's a single format in the sense i told like say for example if a currency okay so currency is i'm going to use all the currency as dollar okay so us dollar or uk dollar something okay you want to whatever the currency the local currency you want to for the companies headquarters so based on the company's relation we are going to have all the value in the so dollars or pound or something whatever the currency they want to have okay so so all the format so in in particular in particular uh, country the data we are going to use in this format but in other another country we are going to use in different format but in data warehousing we are at the end of the day i need to know the say for example if you take amazon amazon is having business in all over the world right so at the end of the day if, if they are going for amazon the revenue or the profit so which currency they are calculating currency is dollar right so from india also they will take some of the uh, profit or some of the revenues so everything indian rupee from the rupee they will convert into dollars they will see not only this transformation we do have lot of transformation supplied in that data by using this informatica or any other tool right so this kind of uh, the, the the different formats will be there this kind of data transformation logic we will apply on the uh, on the data warehouse so and i got one more question what is the difference between tableau and power bi okay so these the both are like a reporting tool to create a report we used to have this power bi or the tableau okay so tableau is from different vendor power bi is from different vendor so tableau is from salesforce and power bi is from microsoft okay so both are the competitors so even so in terms of data handling in terms of license in terms of budgeting so these two are these two tools tools are different uh, we do have the difference and so so i will tell you what is the difference after some after seeing that power bi i will tell you the technical way what is the difference between these two tools then you can able to understand very clearly that okay this is what the difference so you can go to this uh, um, google and then so now we will try to uh, see that how to download this power bi okay so go to google and then you can mention this power bi desktop download so again the same question so what is the difference between the power bi and tableau yeah i will tell you that differences so once we get into the power bi if i am telling this now you cannot able to understand in technical way okay so i will tell you that what is the differences so which is more better so it's based on the company's decision okay so some companies they will go for power bi some companies they will go for the again the tableau okay so power bi desktop is licenses free 
and the, the tableau is licensed okay but also so so if you work on this power bi as well as tableau so you can feel that tableau so working on the tool tableau is very easy when compared to power bi okay but the licensing and the budgeting and everything you consider yeah it depends on the uh, power bi and tableau we do have some differences i will tell you what is the differences okay so go to this power bi desktop download you can go here and it will go to this microsoft.com okay just simply so kindly make a note of it power bi desktop download it's very easy go here go to this downloads microsoft power bi you go to this you can able to see this power bi desktop download right so if you are going for the download if you click on the download it will go to microsoft app store so no need to go for this app store okay so don't open this app store so you can go to this advanced download options click on advanced download options so here you can able to find download right so select language the language is english click on download you will have two options so one is power bi desktop 64 bit and one is 32 bit so you try to download this 64 bit okay so if your machine is 64 bit os then download the 64 bit os and if your machine is 32 bit os you download this 32 bit so click on next it will get automatically downloaded so here it will get downloaded okay so i got one more question so what is data warehousing so is that applying all analytical techniques on collected data yes we are going to apply the analytical uh, the, the the different analysis right so product wise uh, sales product wise profit customer wise country wise right report wise supply and demand i'm going to increase one paise per kilometer what is the so amount i will get it for uh, next one year something like that forecasting so everything you can able to analyze it if you have the data right so from day 1 to day 50 say for example if you have 50 years of business and all the 50 years of data you can store it in data warehouse then how much you can store in oltp so normally in real time the oltp will have at least one year of data or last five years of data more than that data so since we have moved already to data warehousing we will purge here we will delete from oltp okay so so which one which one you are asking like licensed is that uh, data warehousing is licensed so data warehousing is nothing but a database only so if you go for databases teradata so it's licensed to one right so teradata is licensed to one if you are going for hive it's a open source no need to do who no need to have the license so once you have downloaded double click on the exe file it will get automatically installed then you will have icon in the desktop saying that it's a power bi right so you'll have the power bi desktop icon you'll have the the desktop so this is what so after installing it so once you got downloaded so install it just double click and install it so in power bi right so first you need to do the data preparation so in power bi so we can get the data from three different sources one is rdbms normally this is what in real time we will get it relational database management system so data is from data warehousing for the power bi reports you are going to get the data from data warehouse so from here only we are going to take the data right so yeah then you can you can get the data from rdbms relational database management system or you can get the data from flat file file systems okay file system in the sense excel sheet csv 
json file format or any other file format okay so any any file format and then we are going to have this the cloud okay you can get the data from cloud any of the cloud systems like aws any of the cloud storage can get it rdbms is nothing but relational database management system relational database management system so what it has been in this relational database management system the databases and the tables are related with each other okay so it will be related with each other so you can do the data by relating the tables have you all downloaded so uh, finally you can download the thing is we are going to use the databases like we can get uh, the data the first one is we are going to get the data from databases like any of the databases like you can have the oracle or database or we can have the sql sql server database any databases okay or we can have any flat files so i hope you you have already completed the tableau right so do you have the tableau knowledge or have you installed any tableau in your system yes so tableau you have right so so in tableau we have the sample superstore correct uh, the the so we have the sample superstore we can use the same file here and if i want to get some more files so we can go to this data.world.com so here we can download any of the the real time scenarios data okay data set so any data sources we can work on that and we can uh, download it hello everyone welcome to nikit academy in this session we are going to learn how to install power bi in our windows machine if you want to create a dashboard by using power bi that's the first step we have to install the power bi in our machine in order to install power bi so we have to follow these steps so first we will see how to download the software and how to install it and how to connect with data source and how to create a sample dashboard this installation is very very easy just to follow these steps you can install it if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you will get all the notifications go to any browser and type power bi desktop download so you'll be getting this particular page so go to this page so if you go a little bit down you can find download options here so if you want to get the details you can see the details what is the version so what is the file name so here we have the four two different file one is 32 bit and another one is 64 bit so we'll go for 64 bit so most of the system will have the 64 bit os right so that will go for 64 bit if you want to see the system requirement you can check the system requirement here and this is a system requirement and you can see the installation instruction as well so just to click on download so we'll be getting this particular page if your system has 32 bit download this particular version most of the system will have 64 bit os so download this particular version itself click on next it will get downloaded it will take some time based on your network speed once it got downloaded you can click on the exe file you'll be getting this particular wizard you can choose the language as english and go to next click on yes here so click on next accept the license agreement click on next so no need to change here just to click on next so create a desktop shortcut yes we need the shortcut also you can click on install it will get installed automatically it will take 5 to 10 minutes based on your system speed we will wait it has been installed successfully you can click on finish button it will automatically open the power bi you can click on this desktop icon if it is not launched it has been launched and you can see here this is the one right yes you can close this this particular window and you can click on this and this is the installation we have completed so this is the latest version and you can see here it will be having a three view here and the data model view and we have the data view and we have the report view so three different views are there 
So you can go to the data model view. You can get data, click on get data. You can connect with a different data set here. Say for an example, I want to connect with Oracle data set or I want to connect with any CSV file. Yes, you can connect. If his Oracle is not listed here, you can go to more options. And you can see your database. You can connect with the different databases here. So multiple databases are available. You can check the description and you can install any databases. Connect with the database and it will ask the server name. So since in our machine we have installed Oracle, we can give local host. And we can provide OK here. You can go to the database authentication. You can click on username is HR and password is also HR. So whatever the databases you are using, you can provide the respective connection details here. Click on connect. The data sources will get connected. After that, you can start working on this view. See here, these are all the different schemas are available in my database and I can go to HR schema. I can connect with the different views here. So if I want to connect with the tables or views, yes, I can connect with the tables or views here. I can choose my tables. Just I'm choosing employees table. So what departments table and locations table, whatever the table I want, I can just select it. Click on the load. The data model will get loaded here. You can see this based on the data model in the database. It has been already connected here. And you can go to the report view. On the right hand side, you can see the tables. And if I want to know how many employees are there in each countries, yes, you can take the country here. We can take the country ID. Yes, we'll have a different country ID. And we can go for how many employees are there in the each country, right? Yes, you can go with the employee ID here. You can click on any chart. Based on the chart, you will be getting the data here. And this is the way we will get the data. Based on each country, how many number of employees are available. So that's what we can get it. You can check the description for the complete Power BI tutorial and start working on this Power BI and start creating the sample dashboard. So once it has it get downloaded, you'll have icon like Power BI desktop here on the desktop. You can simply double click on this Power BI desktop. It will open, okay? So it will open and then you can able to see this this is what the, the front page of this Power BI extra. So you can able to see the screen. Right. So in Power BI. So I will tell you in Tableau, right? So normally in Tableau, we can download and then we can get a student license. And by using our Gmail account, we can enable our Tableau online. But in Power BI, we cannot do this. Okay. So if if I want to publish my dashboard, then I need to have the company address, company email address. Okay, so that is what it's asking you to sign in. If I do not have company email address, I cannot log in with. So one request, uh, so kindly uh, go for mute. If you have any questions, so kindly raise your questions through chat. Okay, yeah. So here we have in Power BI, in Power BI desktop, so whatever the dashboard we create, okay, so we do have uh, in real time, like development environment, and then testing environment, and then production, right? So whatever the dashboard we are, we have created by using this Power BI desktop, we need to publish it to the server, then only the customer, the customer in the sense, the client can able to, the management people can able to see the reports. In order to publish, you need to have the Power BI service is one of the tool we used to have. This Power BI service can be enabled. Okay, so this is the it's equal to Tableau online or Tableau server. Okay, so this Power BI service is used to publish the dashboard. So once you have done with your dashboard creations, if you want to publish it, you can publish by using this. Power BI service. Okay, so which tool we can use for the, the development? So by using this Power BI desktop, we can do the development. Okay, so you can do the development. So all the development work by using this Power BI desktop.
so this is the front page you will get it so just to close this page okay close this page uh, this is the front page you will get, you'll be getting it in the power bi right so if you look at this power bi so i hope everyone uh, clear so this is what the uh, the front page of power bi okay so we do have lot of pages so how we have in the excel sheet we have the sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 like this in power bi you you can have the page page number 1 page number 2 page number 3 all those right so we can have this page 1 page 2 page 3 so based on the the number of chart we are going to create so in power bi the first one is the three options are there the desktop so one is first one is the data the data model so you can get the data model data data model is nothing but how these tables are related with each other so if i have 10 tables so how are we going to relate each tables by using this data model you can relate it okay so all the tables will be available here once you have imported the second one is data so here you have the data so whatever the transformation logic you want to apply so you want to add some columns you want to create some measures or we will call it as it's a dax dax is nothing but so data analysis expressions i will tell you uh, tomorrow session and then this can be done by using this data here and you can have the reports so in the report we will create the report by using this report model okay so what are the three major component in power bi so one is data model by using this data model we will use the we will uh, define the data okay define the data sources so which data source we are going to get the data the second one we are going to have this data okay we can apply some transformation logic the data manipulations by using this a data tab okay manipulations and then the third one is report by using this report you can create the dashboard okay create various reports and dashboards so dashboard is nothing but the combination of all the views we can create it right so this is what the three major components which are available in power bi okay so very first time we need to get the data from a database or the flat file or anything right data sources so if you look at our power bi you can see this option called get data right so in this get data option you can get the data from or if you want to have uh, you want to get the data from excel sheet or power bi server itself you have the data from there itself you can take power bi data set and a sql server so these are all the the local component of microsoft right so microsoft excel microsoft power bi server and a sql server and you can enter the data so some reference data you you have you can just just type it here itself you can make this as a data source for the some reference data okay so you can click on this get data you can click on the get data as i told the data is majorly from three different sources so one is data is from the database or dbms relational database management system the second one is from the flat file file systems and the third one is cloud system so cloud say for example it's a uh, the google drive okay and also you can get the data from aws s3 right so amazon s3 all those so if you want to get data in this cloud platform then you can get it azure right so this is what the data sources so if you click on more so you can you can see this excel sheet power bi data set power bi data flows sql server so analysis services text file or csv file csv is nothing but comma separated value file so you can take the data from directly from the web or you can you can type it some queries here so if you click on more button here if you click on the more button here 
you can able to see the different sources what are the different sources are available to connect with so these are all the different sources you can able to connect as i told so file systems so you can get the data from text file or a excel file or xml file json file right so pdf file are from the different folders so these are all the file format sharepoint folders so this is what you can get it so if you mention the folder so in the folder how many files you you keep it all the files data will be captured okay so or you can go with the databases so any databases see here sql server right oracle database ibm db2 so netisa so teradata so whatever i told sybase sap hana so you have lot of databases are available so by using these databases you can able to connect okay and power platform this is something like within power bi we are the power platform and as you yeah you can get the data from any cloud systems or online services online services is again a cloud basis right so you can get the data from any of the uh, online services as well so you can get the direct directly data from data.world.com see here i have i have uh, i have mentioned right so even you can get the data from directly from the website see here get the data from data.world so this is the website you can get it directly or github so you have lot of uh, online uh, services are there you can connect to this any, any one of the uh, data sources and they can able to connect okay so and i have i got one question so can we connect it to vba or any data sources so vba is nothing but you are asking visual basic you want to connect from visual basic or you want to take the data from power bi to visual basic so vba you are asking right so if we have the data sources here you can able to connect it see here whatever the data sources here we have right say for example sharepoint salesforce right github so online services are available like more most of the online services are cloud services on any of the cloud services you can get it or you can get the data from the other data sources say for example the big data environment hive okay hadoo so lot of data sources available by using this any of the data sources you can able to get the data so as of now we are going to get the data from the oracle database or sql server so the oracle database if you want to install oracle database i will give you one video and the softwares you can install it okay in your machine so go to this particular uh, site so i will give you this oracle database software i will give you one video the latest version of oracle database is oracle 19c or i will give you the let, the before version 18c or 12c right so any one of the data sources sorry uh, the the version i will give it to you so that you can download this version and then you can able to install it so oracle is one of the database which we are using even you can go for sql server sql server is like a, a sql server 2019 is the latest version even yes you can go for mysql also so mysql is nothing but it's a open source database right so if any of the small small scale industries uh, they do not afford for the uh, any of the uh, servers database servers like oracle or sql server or db2 or teradata they will go for the uh, mysql database so open source database right so you can go for it yes you can get the data no issues so if you have a sample data you can get the data and then we can do analysis so now i'm going to connect with the oracle database and even i will tell you how to connect with the data sources like sql server or the sql okay so simply a excel sheet okay so you can use mysql no issues we go to this database so it will be there like mysql database here you can connect here you have right 
So MySQL database, click on this, you can able to connect to this MySQL, right? Or if you have DB2 or Netiza or Teradata, SAP HANA, okay, Amazon Redshift. So Impala is like big, big data environment. So Vertica, Snowflake. So whatever the data sources you have, these are all something like new data sources like Vertica, Google BigQuery, and the Amazon Redshift, Impala. It's based on the big data environment, right? So first of all, I'm going to connect with Oracle database. Just double click on it. So it will ask you to connect with the database. So I'm going to provide the connect connection name, okay, the server name. So real time, we used to tell the server name here. Yes, the 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 question is if this is the recording enabled. Yes, it has been recorded. Okay. So the server you have right. In the server in real time you have to mention the server name but here we are mentioning the server as local host so why because in this machine itself i have installed oracle database you can click on ok here then microsoft power bi is trying to connect with the database and then it will bring all the data okay all the tables and the databases and everything so you can able to see here the different databases so just I'm going to connect with human human resource. Human resource. So here you can able to see this. Uh, the different tables which is available in a human resource database and I'm going to connect with any one of the tables. OK, so any one of the tables you can connect or so what? So what is the number of tables you want to have? You can connect it. So I'm going to connect with one only one table first and then I will tell you. Uh, connect with other tables and I will tell you how to do the, the manipulations. Okay, the the connectivity. So simply choose this whatever the tables you want to have. So it is asking the credentials, right? So you have to give the credentials like how to connect with the data sources. So is it like M, the SQL server or Oracle? Which database is asking credential? Oracle, right? Okay, one more time I will repeat. It should not ask. Say, for example, go to this get data. Click on more. You can find more options. There you can. Um, the recommended provider Oracle database is not installed. Yeah. So you have to install, right? So first of all, you need to install the software, then only you can able to connect. You haven't installed Oracle, so I told you, right? So I will give you the software. You can you can install it. Okay, you can install it. I will give you at the end of the session. I will give you the software before coming for the next session. You try to install it. So the steps, how do we install? Yes, the steps video I will give it to you. So look at the video and then you can able to install it. Okay, clear the Oracle installation. I will tell you. Meanwhile, you can get the data from any of the flat file also. The flat file is very, very easy. Say for example, here Oracle database, right? So click on Oracle database here. Just click on connect. So this is what the error you are getting. So click on OK now. Okay. Is it asking asking your server name? Yes, you can give the server name as local host, but before before mentioning this local host, right? So you should gain it, you should you should have already installed the software, okay? Either Oracle or SQL Server, any other database you should have installed. So go to this advanced options. So there it will be asking like username and password, right? So everything it might be asking. So click your so give your username and password click on OK. It will get imported. So in my system, I have already installed Oracle software. So that is why. Since I have mentioned local host, it can be able to connect. So one more question. Do we need to install Oracle or MySQL or any of the uh, any one of? Yes, any one of the database is enough. Either Oracle or MySQL or SQL server. Okay, any one of the data source databases, you know. 
So click on OK. Yeah, sure, sure, definitely. Yeah, I will take the sample superstore. I will give it to you. Just I'm telling you how to connect with the database. Okay. Click on OK. It will get connected. See here. It will get connected here. Click on whatever the databases you want to know, the schema, and whatever the tables you want to know. Say, for example, you want to get the details. You click on this employees table, click on load data, it will get loaded. Okay. So it will get data will get loaded into this Power BI. So now the Power BI is, is trying to connect with the database and it is pulling the data for the preparation, data preparation. So after this database connectivity, I will tell you how to connect with Black file so that you can import our sample superstore as well. So once the data has the tables has been imported, you can look at the data sources here. In the if you, if you go to the data model, so you can the left hand side the data will be the tables will be presented. Okay. So here the tables are available, right? So employees. So you can have the all the columns here. So data modeling, I will tell you after some time, but this is what you can bring the table into Power BI environment. Okay. So now the same way I'm going to connect with the flat files, file systems. So again, go to the get data. If you have sample superstore in Excel file, you click on Excel file in your system. So I have the sample superstore in CSV file. So I'm just clicking on CSV. Okay. So all of you kindly make a note of it. If you have the data sample superstore in your Excel file, okay, you can click on the Excel. Or if you have sample superstore in CSV, you click on the CSV file format, whatever the file you have. Or someone, if you do not have any files or anything, you directly go here, okay. So something you can mention here data.world.com okay data dot so something you can mention this data world okay data world you can go to this particular site data world okay you can go to this particular site data.world.com so this is the best site to download so real time data sets clear you can go to this even you can download this our COVID-19 data, so current data, and then you can do a lot of analysis on the data. Okay, see a lot of uh, data are there, right? If you go to the home page, you can able to find so a lot of data sets are available. Okay, so I hope everyone is having that sample superstore, right? So for Power BI. Sorry, for the tablet, you have sample superstore, correct? So go to this Excel. Just click on Excel. It will ask you to uh, select the Excel file. You click on open. Or you can go to this get data. Text CSV file. I have it in the CSV file. So I will go to this data sources, the orders. Just it's a text file. Click on open. So it has been connected. Okay. It has been connected. You can able to see this load button. So click on the load. It will get loaded. It got connected, right? Are you clear on this? If you do not have sample superstore or if you do not have any other data set, okay. If you do not have a databases like SQL Server or Oracle. So do you have any data sources? Any other data sources, any Excel sheet or CSV file format, you try to connect it. So if you do not have any data sources, leave it at the end of our session. I will give it to you the sample superstore as well as Oracle data connectivity. By seeing this video, you can able to do all the practice. So one more time, I got one question like how to connect with the database. Okay, so whatever the database you have already, 
so you may have your oracle you may have your sql server you may have your teradata or you may have your mysql psql so whatever the data sources you have you go to this get data options in the first page click on more so it will try and give you that how to connect with the database okay click on more options you can you can find the database here the option called database you have the sql server right so you have the sql server the beginning itself so double click on the sql server since it is a native connectivity you have to give the only server name it will click on okay then it will keep it will able to connect okay you can able to connect it if i have oracle right so simply click on so more and please give the uh, data sources like oracle you can able to connect it the oracle data source so i'm going to the database the database name is oracle database click on connect again it will ask you the username and password we need to provide that credentials um, so since i have already since i'm going to use this as a local host for me it will not ask so click on okay here provide your connection detail as local host this this one you can mention like local host and click on okay here it can able to connect okay say for example i'm going to connect i have already connected with the employees table i'm going to connect with the departments table so departments and locations right so departments and locations so you need to remember so what is this joins all those right can you give me the data source to us now instead of at the end of the lecture okay so if i'm giving now what will happen uh, it will take a lot of time so everyone need to install right so so you will not able to concentrate on our uh, training program so that is why i'm telling so i will give you the separate video to install this database you can install it clear and also one of the question is while downloading the oracle 19c website is asking for credentials so if you do not have oracle sign in account you create a new account you sign in then you can able to connect it but i will give you the software don't worry okay i will give you the software and i will give you the steps to install it okay see here once the tables has been imported you can see this left hand side the orders this is the flat file right so this is the flat file you can able to see the flat file right so if you go to the properties you can see this so what is this so if you go to this particular uh, locations and employees and departments these three are tables you can see this automatically it has taken the the relationship right so automatically it has taken the relationship right so we haven't given this relationship how it has been taken so why because based on the table based on the table connectivity it has already taken that the connectivity here so employees departments and locations clear how these are connected so can you able to see this these two tables employees and departments how these two tables are connected so if you look at here if you if you hover your mouse you can be able to see this employees department id equal to department dot department id it has been connected in this way so employees dot department id equal to departments dot department id and another another one column is so employees dot employee id equal to departments dot location id right the same way in these two table so locations and departments you can have the connectivity with the location id so this is what the the connections the columns okay the common column it will automatically take since the database objects are automatically connected 
it has taken automatically if it is not connected with automatically we can provide okay we can connect the whatever the column we have just we can drag and drop and connect it so can you able to see one and star here one and star so one and star is nothing but relationship that means one to many relationship okay so one to many relationship what is that one to many so one location id in the location table is equal to multiple departments okay so one locations are presented in with the multiple departments so in another way multiple departments are located in one particular locations okay clear one to many so star nothing but many one is nothing but one one so in our employee table if you consider in our these three table employees department and locations so i will give you that overall idea about this data so that you can able to understand how these relationships okay say for example if you consider this is the employee table employees table it has some columns so we have a lot of columns but i will be mentioning some one or two columns so we have the employee id okay so consider the column name is employee id we have the uh, column called first name okay so we have the salary column so like this we have a lot of uh, columns are available department id okay department id then we have the table called departments table departments table in this table we have the department id right so department id department name and uh, you have the manager id okay so manager id and you have location id so where this departments are located and you have the location table here so location table how these tables are related i will tell you so location id and you have the uh, the location information like street address right so street address and you have the uh, the city area so all this so you have the city and you have the country all this information are there right say for example so this is the table structure so this is one table structure we have so with the department id all those so this is one table structure we have and this is another table structure so this is another table structure okay so this this department id in the department table so we do have a lot of department ids 10 20 30 40 and 50 like this you have five departments you assume that okay so you have the department name hr department and you have uh, some admin department some finance department some sales department um some something like uh, purchasing department okay you have dip some different departments so it has some locations so it is there in location 1200 and 1100 again it's like uh, 1500 and uh, some some locations okay we assume that these are all some locations are presented again sales department is presented in 1200 this is presented in 1100 you assume that so i have the locations at 1100 1200 1300 right so like this i have locations different locations i have so up to 1400 1500 right say for here the employees are located in different locations so for example department id 30 he is from department id 30 he is from department id 50 he is from 10 he is from 20 again 30 again 20 again 10 like this you can have right so departments so in one single department there can be multiple employees is it clear so in one department there might be multiple employees right so this is called one is to many relationship okay say for example here i have one particular uh, uh, department so in the 30th department i have one 
to three, right? Three employees are working in 30th department, right? So this is called one to many. So that many is representing from departments table to employee table. So that is what the error mark is representing. Okay. So one to many. And this relationship, employee ID to manager ID. So that is one employee manager for multiple departments. That is the opposite way. One to many relationship. Clear? So here in one location, there might be multiple departments. Clear? That is what one location ID will be there. Multiple location ID will be there in the departments table. So in one departments, say for example, 1200. So there are two, right? So this is also one to many. But one employee might be manager for two different two different departments. So that is the one to many relationship. Yes, this is the example of RDB must correct. So are you clear on the data relationship? How these relationship are maintained? So one to many or many to one. So this is if you look at from here, it is one to many from here. It is many to one clear on this. How these tables are even if it is flat file, how the data are related. You can able to see this relations. If it is one to one or many to many, many to many means so many departments are there in many department ID, something like that. So many persons have order many order ID. Okay, order ID and the person ID might be many to many. Many persons might be order many products, right? Order. So many order ID I can take. So that is what many to many relationship. Clear on this how the relationship are. For example, it is not related with each other. Okay, so I'm I'm going to delete it. So just select this column, right click, and uh, delete it. So I'm deleting it. So here also I'm deleting it. Here also I'm deleting it. Okay, so delete it. Here also I'm deleting it. You assume that I'm just deleting it. So since I do not bring it from database, you assume that I do not have any relationship. If I want to create a relationship between these two, then which you know which column, right? So take this department ID from here and leave it on the department ID, then automatically create own relationship. Okay. Automatically it will create own relationship. If you keep your cursor here. It will tell you what is this column. So if you want to edit it, you can double click on this relationship. You can edit it. See here 10, 20, 30. So here you have multiple uh, departments are there. It's a many to one relationship. Clear. And from here to here. So location ID to location ID. And manager ID to employee ID. So, like this, you can make the relationship. Clear on this? Okay. So, this is called data sources. You have, you have, uh, first of all, you have uh, uh, defined our data sources. Okay. So, we do have a lot of topics are there in data sources, but going forward, we will see one by one. And then this is the data model, right? Then data. So this data I will tell you after some time how to create a new column, how to create new measures, how to transform the data, the tax formulas, and everything I will tell you after some time. But now click on the reports. So click on the reports. So this is the page of reports. If you have this report, so you can able to see the page number one, right? So this is called work area. Okay, this is called work area. By this area only, we can able to create the different views. Here you can have the filters. 
So normally in Tableau, everything will be there in left hand side, right? The field will be there in left hand side. This chart visualization will be there in right hand side. This will be there in the right hand side, right? This will be there in show me button. But here it is opposite. Okay, so by using this, you can able to create. For example, the filters are available in right hand side. In tablet, it will be there in left hand side, right? Okay, the same filters. Okay, remember the filters, I will tell you after some time. It is used to create the interactive dashboard. Okay, so you can create the interactive dashboard by using these filters. Okay, as of now, you have the filters, then different visualizations. So in Power BI, there are a lot of visualizations available. Ready-made visualizations are available. You have the bar chart, you have the pie chart, you have the donut chart, line chart, dual access chart. Okay, so the, the map and then the field map. So bar chart, right, all the chart types are available. Okay, so text tables. So even you can connect with Python code and you can connect with the R script. Okay. And the question and answer is nothing but your AI relationship, the artificial intelligence. So if you click here, you can able to find the values. So whatever the drill, drill through options you want to add it, you can add it. Then you can have the format options. Okay. So if you, as of now, the format option is for an entire page, the page formatting. If you click it, if you create any visualization, then format will be visualization format. So clear? Okay. So now in the right hand side, you can able to see this data sources, right? So whatever the data source we have connected, all the data sources will be available there in the right hand side. So employees, departments, and locations. So everything will be there in the right hand side. So what is filter? If you want to create interactive dashboard, you can go for the filter. So what is visualization? By using this visualization, you can create a lot of views. So what is the field? It will display all the data source column names, the table and column names. If you click on the arrow mark on the table name, it will give you all the column names. Whatever the chart you want to create, you can create it. We are going to create some basic chart. Here I have the field, right? Say for example, I want to take the field from the employees table or from the orders table. So I'm going to take the sample superstore orders, right? So orders, it has category, subcategory, country, city, all those, the whatever the chart you have created in Tableau, the same chart you can able to create here also. Say for example, I want to create a category wise sales. So normally if you want to create category wise sales. So what will you do? Just simply click on the category. So one visualization will be created here. So one visualization will be created. The visualization will be looking very small only. Okay. It will be looking very, uh, the, the icon will be very, very small. I can give you showing. See here, the furniture office supplies technology, right? So everything is showing very small. Then you want to know the, the sales. The summation represents the measure values. So measure, you know, right? Measure, measure value is nothing but measurable values. These are all the dimensions. So can you able to see here? Okay. If you are thinking that this is very small font, you can click on this focus mode. Then it will give you the, uh, the very big font. Okay. The focus mode only, it will be displaying in real time. This is what you can able to see in real time. Okay, clear. I this is by default it will take the text tables, right? So, but I do not want the text tables. I want to create some different chart. Okay, the the bar chart I want to know. I want to create the bar chart. So, click on the bar chart here. It will automatically create the bar chart. Okay, it will automatically create the bar chart. If you want to maximize it, you can maximize it. If you want to minimize it, you can minimize it. Okay. So technology, furniture, office supplies. Same way. 
you want to make the subcategory also then just simply click on the subcategory okay it will go for the stack the bus normally it will go for the stack the bus so within this technology so what is this bar is available okay or you want to go for simply a, like this you can even you can go for the chart like this so whatever the chart model you want to go for you can go for stack to bars or bar chart or anything so you assume that this is one simple chart we have created now i want to create one more chart then simply you if you want to create for example i want to create a pie, pie chart here just to simply click on pie chart so it will automatically create on pie chart here then whatever it, it is in selection now whatever the column you are selecting for example the regional wise sales i'm taking the region and the sales so whatever the column i'm taking so it will automatically create the pie chart now the regional wise sales okay see here it, it will be looking like this only but if you are if you are going for the focus mode so if you are clicking on the focus mode right here so automatically it will give you this like this this is what the customer will so will see your data or we will, will show in real time this is what it will show so in tableau we have the presentation mode right the same way here it is a focus mode okay now you have created the pie chart so you want to do any manipulations yes we can do the manipulations the pie chart we have created the, the bar chart we have created or if you want to create any other chart you can able to create it simply i want to create the text tables so this is a text table site right? table you create it so i want to know the regional wise sales so take the region and sales and even the category or sub category here and category also i am taking that you can able to see this first region then sales amount then category if you want to change it first region then category then sales so here here the values right so you can take it first regions then category then sales if you want to go, go for regions here you take the regions from here and just drag and drop here you want to do on the ascending order descending order so here if you look at here then you can able to find the ascending order just click on this ascending order you can have all this ascending order see here it has been ordered right so back to report you can able to see like this okay so here in in the tableau you can able to create the dashboard but in in power bi you can a sin in a single page you can create lot of different different chart visualizations clear say for example this is the region of west regions so if you if you select this regions okay in one particular the view the other view also will automatically get changed but in tableau we need to do it manually right so by using this column called the tableau actions right you have to do tableau actions but in in power bi no need to do this automatically it will take how to edit labels i will tell you if you want to edit the labels okay so for example i'm going to the new page click on page number plus symbol the page 2 will be created okay so here i will do one simple the bar chart okay whatever the bar chart you want to have uh, simply a bar chart so here also i have the bar chart so click on the bar here simply right so i can go for the regional wise sales click on region here simply click on the regions then four regions will be there and then click on the sales so this is one visualization right this is one visualization if you look at this one the filter option is available right right hand side you can have the filter options we will come to this later so different visualization from here i have taken only the bar chart okay so once this particular visualization has been create uh, has been selected you can able to see here this is the field next one is format 
next one is analytic side okay analytic side yeah same way our tableau how we have the same way we have but here we have the uh, the field right in this field so here you can click on axis so which one should be their axis like x axis so regions okay so legend you want to have yes you want to add some legends yes you can add it the value field so value field or sales field are there so only sales field sales how much that is what the you can able to see this okay if you want to drill through you can do it drill through and now i'm going with formatting so click on formatting in this formatting general options so whatever the format you want to do so in power bi you can go to this particular formatting tab okay so you have the general x axis y axis all those click on the general formatting so responsive in the sense this is the responsive how much time you are getting it so position number so what is the x axis or y axis positions you will have about 10 and 0 right so with and everything will be there so here the data colors so colors you can make the so all so each one everything will be like uh, the blue color only but if you want to change to different colors you can able to create some different colors so different different colors you can choose it so whatever the color you want to have right so you can choose it and uh, so you can go to the custom colors so whatever the color you want to have you can you can create it and then you can choose so this is on the color table default color okay then you can go for the title so the title is sales by region right the title is sales by region if you want to uh, something like font size or you want to make the centralized you want to increase the font size yes you can increase it from here sales by region showing right if you click on focus mode you can able to see this sales by regions right okay so now this is what the sales by region so each each bar you are seeing that different uh, colors i want to know that the uh, the the value should be showing here instead of the uh, the tool tip it should be showing so you can go to this the data label okay so here we have uh, so data label on so you have to uh, click on this on button uh, if you want to make colors you can make some bold colors see if you see here 0.73 million right so display unit is auto if you want to make it like k values you can make k values like this is what the k okay flow thousands unit in horizontal okay orientation is horizontal the position position is i want to make it like a mid so inside center you can able to see here inside center right so font so background everything you want to analyze it so you want to make it everything can make it this way so even you can make the text size is little bit more so increase the text size then automatically this text size will be improved see here it has been increased right same way here also x axis y axis you want to increase the text size you can increase it like a little bit so that the x axis or y axis uh, the label will be improved see here the label will be improved right so this is what the formatting you can do data colors whatever the colors you want to do it the plot area so plot area dip, the the transparency so this is the plot area right so this is the plot area how much we want to have that transparency so transparency of the report you can able to see this uh, transparency of the plot area uh, title the background colors the aspects shadow tool tip and the visual header so whatever you want to have you can you can click on it and then you can uh, format it okay clear so if you go to the focus mode this is what the customer will see your data yes we can do undo undo operations also say for example i have done something wrong okay you can go to this undo control is it 
so if you do control z it will go for one one step undo control z and control so undo operations are available right so even in this particular page uh, this is only the bar chart we have seen right so bar chart we have seen uh, in this bar chart the first one is the field so whatever the field we have uh, so field is nothing but the axis the axis is we are going to have the regions different regions legend we want to add it yes you want to know the legend on uh, the regions right you take the region into legend here whatever you want to know this this uh, you can take it then the legend will be added here okay so legend will be added then values will be sales value tooltip you want to add it so like this you can able to add it the legends and so you can go for the formatting and whatever the formatting you want to go for so if you do not want the legend you can you can so you can make off then it will get off so x axis y axis color size and everything you can able to modify it from here okay data labels shadow border okay everything can be able to see here if you if you click on the pages say for example if you click on the pages then everything will be showing for the pages okay this is format for entire page not for the one visualization this is the field addition for entire page not for one single visualization if you have two visualization here say for example i am going to bring the pie chart here okay i want to add some columns so i am adding that region by sales just to take that region into sales so if you look at this one this page you can able to see which one is selected now sales by region is selected right the pie chart has been selected the bar chart is not yet selected so based on the selections the 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 axis and dimensions and everything will be changed if you look at one particular pages sorry one particular views then this is called one particular the 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 visuals okay this is entire page this is for entire page so if you are going to change one thing the others also will automatically get impacted so this is for entire page if you are if you are not selected so this is for entire page the page information will be available here so what is the page number okay question and answers all those will be available here page size page background page alignment wallpaper filter pan and filter cards everything can able to add it so now i'm going to the new page yes correct it is very similar to tableau say for example if you are if you are seeing any uh, any opening for tableau so even if you know power bi you can apply it you know power bi or you are seeing that tableau opening then you can apply it why because so both are like the tool wise only the differences if you know this uh, if you know the uh, concept okay how to connect with the data source the data modeling everything then it's very similar to tableau easily you can able to learn it okay the the thing is you need to get some hands on so if you do hands on it will be very easy see here uh, so one of the question is where i where i can see that legend okay if you click on one particular view right so this is one view can you able to see the selections can you able to see the selections okay if you click on one view you can able to see this legend here right legend so it will be empty whatever the column you want to add it in the legend you can drag it from here to here that's all okay if you have not selected say for example if you have not selected this is common for both then the legend will not be available here right this is for entire page so this is the uh, formatting option for entire page okay if you are selecting any one of the view then only the view related options will be available here it is again i'm telling it's very similar to the the tableau 
if you know tableau very well then this is very easy power bi is very easy okay nowadays uh, so i'm telling that nowadays we are having lot of opening for this power bi and the tableau so i will share some uh, resumes at the end of our session with the sample uh, resume format and uh, roles and responsibilities on power bi and tableau and materials i will provide so prepare it if you know power bi and tableau very well if you do some hands on so definitely there are lot of openings are going on nowadays okay it is booming up the power bi is booming up so kindly uh, so do practice okay then only can able to do so again once again i am doing it the chart so this time i will create the donut chart so click on donut chart here simply create a donut chart you click on whatever the the field you want to have for donut chart you will have one uh, dimension right i will take region so regional wise sales i will take sales value so this is called regional wise sales okay in this regional wise sales so even you can you can change it like different different views i will tell you after some time but now you can able to see this okay uh, so you want to make it as a table yes right click and you can make it as a table also so whatever the value here it will be showing something like table also yes okay so now you can if you want to the donut chart right the donut chart something like you can have uh, 391 or something you you can go for the the format options uh, data colors data label everything you want to make it okay so whatever the format you want to do the, the the data colors you want to do some format or labeling you want to do some the corrections the shapes you want to do some corrections right so radius 60 you want to increase or decrease everything you can able to see here now you can go to this um the the modeling or the view options see here the view options in the view you, you can able to click on one particular themes so this themes so based on the theme the data will get automatically changed see here based on the themes it will automatically get changed so this is the regional wise sales south region west region all those you can have it like this so you can go to the formatting so drill through options so whatever the fast so formatting you want to do you can do it the donut chart you are clear right you want to make some the manipulations you can go with the data format you can go with the data colors or data labels so x axis y axis positions and height with everything you can able to see from here okay so so this is what you can able to see the analytics side since it is the uh, donut chart the analytics will not be there uh, this is what you can able to create the donut chart okay even we do have some some formatting options on the donut chart i will tell you but this is what different chart you can able to create yeah size of if you if you do the uh, view right view for different view the size of the chart will get changed yes so i'll go for control z uh, same way in here also you can export the data so whatever the data is available here uh, you can export it so you want to show us only the table you can show it do it the ascending order or descending order sort by regions or sales so based on that you can go for right so this is what the uh, data model you can able to the view you can able to create so we have seen that the view like we have taken some bar chart say for example here i have taken the bar chart in the bar chart i am taking something like uh, at this time i will take order date you consider order date the hierarchy will be there in the order date you can able to see this year okay year month quarter everything so the regional wise sales are the 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 date wise sales you can able to see here this is the date wise sales 2016 17 18 and 19 so you want order date everything yes 
the legend values on the uh, so which acts as okay the value on the so in the chart you can able to see here right so you want to do some formatting yes you can do the formatting here data color data labels it's so the same way you have to do the formatting uh, if you go for the data labels you can see the labels so you can do the uh, the the colors the font everything can bring up the bold color display units uh, the 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 text size the text size everything can able to see here right okay so now if you if you click if you select this page right this page you can able to see this the analytics options okay in tableau also we have the analytics side if you click on the analytics side you can you can find the constant line the trend line the minimum line maximum line average line median line right say for example i want to put some average line simply click on this add average line it will get added so one average line will be added here okay on the sales value see here so you want to make the transparency so color of the um, the drop line sorry the, the average lines so this is the average line okay how will you try the, the make the average line okay so position data label on the average line say for example this is the average line will be showing i want to draw some constant line so that line i have to tell them what is the uh, the line i want to make so value i'm going for something like 0 0.5 550 uh, 5000 okay so 0.5 million so i have added values and it will show you that okay um, this is what the value for constant line okay these two are more than 0.5 million has been crossed these two are not at cross that 0.5 million so this is what you can able to see this uh, data analytics side like uh, you can write you can draw this uh, whatever the lines you want to have average line or drop line or the uh, median line so everything you are able to create here if you look at this one if you look at this this page this page is having two different visualization right two different visualization okay only i i got one question there is only constant line option available say for example you are choosing this particular line right okay if you are choosing this bar chart you are choosing this bar chart choose this this bar chart go for the analytic side so here you can have all the chart line chart maximum line minimum line trend line constant line like average line everything say for example i'm going to the another bar chart this bar chart this is also sales by regions then i'm going to the anal analytic side i can able to see all the chart all the line right so that means you are not taking any uh, measurable values in the chart okay you are not taking the measurable values in the chart then only you will have only the constant line so if you take any measurable values then only the average line or median line it will be displayed here yes 0.5 million is the threshold value i have set it out so i got one question i took same variable as you did but still i am getting only the constant line right okay so can you do one more time so go to this new page so in the new page you go to this you uh, create one chart like this okay clustered column chart clustered column chart in this chart you take regional wise sales or even you can take year wise sales also year wise sales 2016 17 18 and 19 so go to the analytics side so you can able to see all the chart right are you able to see now then i think you are doing some something wrong it should be okay it should be the the all chart should be available or i'm not sure whether you have enabled some properties okay but it should it should display all the lines see here all the constant line 
um, so all the lines will be there so trend line how the trend is going on so everything will be there so trend line if you want to add so how how to add the trend so trend is going like upward direction that means sales is going the upward direction the regional wise sales going with the trend line right so style of this trend line and you want to do some um so any other options on the trend line okay everything is same clear are you able to getting uh, getting it yes so now now you are getting all the four lines all the the different lines of chart okay so thanks for your uh, confirmation now so this is like year wise sales right so in this year wise yes in this year wise sales i want to go for only for one particular regions only one particular regions then i will go for filter right one particular regions then filters on the visuals so this visuals you can go for the add to add the data field here you can add this data field take the regions into filters take the region into filters so this is the data for only for central region okay this data for only for central region central as east south and west region clear on this how to do the basic filtering after that you can have the top end bottom end or something like this say for example top top two regions based on the sales value so top end i'm going to select top end so top two i'm selecting okay the value is top two um top two regions by sales value right take the sales value here so then sales field will be added in the filter apply filter so i have taken the region but i want to take in the the year field year field then take the year go to uh, top n uh, year so top two i want to know so top two sales field here so apply filter only two will be there okay so top two is 2018 and 19 simple filter you can create it right say for example this is the filter for only for this visualization if i want to apply filter for these two pages or these two one single pages entire page i want to apply some filter then so you have the filters on this page right so i want to take the regional wise sales take this region here if i am applying the central region this filter will be applied on both the sheet clear this is for filters on this page the entire page will be filtered out so filter on the page uh, this is the basic filtering advanced filtering advanced filtering is nothing but is equal to is uh, something like wildcard filter okay you want to contains something like you 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 are not sure on the exact filter then you can go for advanced filtering there you can mention that all the options so advanced filtering basic filtering and top end filtering okay if you are going for top end so definitely you need to have the one of the measure okay yes so here the filters on all pages if you apply here any field this filter is applied for all the all the pages i'm applying here i am selecting only south west and east region only three regions i'm selecting here on this page only but this will be applicable for all the pages see here here also only three here also okay it's here year wise sales but not the regional wise sales here also it is changed right only three regions correct so there are three filter options one is filter on visuals only that particular visuals filter on on the pages so only pages then filter on the 
filter on the all the pages clear there are three types of filters are available in power bi the, sometimes interview they might be asking so what is the types of filter in power bi so filter for one particular visuals filter for all the on the pages filter for all the pages so there are three types of filtering one is basic filtering basic filtering option the second one is top n the third one is advanced filtering these are all the three filter options which are available in the within the filter say for example you are not sure what type of uh, the columns are uh, uh, what to create okay so if i'm asking you to create some uh, sales versus profit okay for particular regions or regional wise sales year wise sales right if i want to if i'm asking you to create some chart so no need to check any columns say for example here this is called artificial intelligence in power bi okay so ai in power bi so this is what the option or you can say it's like a qa question and answers like chat something you can say like it's a chat bot also sometimes so go here just double click on the empty page okay just double click on the empty page here so double click on it simply it will it will tell you ask a question about your data it is giving you the option like ask a question about your data so i'm going to ask a question like okay sales by region something like i'm typing like this then automatically it will create the view it has created right okay sales by region donut chart simply type donut see here sales by region based on the donut chart since i have applied filter condition on all the pages so that is why it is appearing like this i have removed that filter then you can able to see okay so can you tell me one one question here then i will type it then it will create the view for you can you tell me one one question here any chart so based on your question i will copy and paste here it will automatically create category wise sales right okay i will copy here i will paste here category wise sales automatically it will create the category wise sales right okay profit by year so i'm just copying it and pasting like this okay so profit by year it will create profit by year now you want to do some uh, something like formatting option so profit by year right so you go to this uh, use once you have been selected then go here uh, so you can so question field suggestion field so everything you want to do it you can do it so since it has it has by default it has created you not have the format options all those if you want to change the chart types you can change it so if you consider the pages even on the page you can bring some some text boxes and different options here uh, you can go to go to the insert options in the insert you can see this okay text box you can insert it here some text box here uh, you can type it okay so whatever the text box you want to have this is power bi qa something you are selecting it then you want to do some formatting options so select the uh, the options you choose different options here something like like this you can select it so how to create the uh, uh, text box and uh, the images you want to bring yes you can click on the image uh, say for example i want to bring the images uh, i just have table image i'm just bringing it so here i have bring it the images shapes you want to bring buttons you want to bring so whatever the way you want to bring everything you can bring okay now you you think about you have bring all the you have created all the pages all the chart 
then you want to publish it then only the customer can able to see your data right you want to publish it you have to go to this option the home option there you can find the publish you can click on the publish so now for the publishing option you need to have power bi service account okay as i told you need to have power bi service account so for this you need to have a company mail id so if you have any company mail id if you do not have any uh, the security violations then you can register here you can activate that company mail id from there you can able to see this power bi reports whatever we have created on the uh, server side you can able to see this the trend line is not shown um, so where is the trend line here right so whatever the chart you have created say for example whatever the chart you have created after that you go to the analytics side so here you can find the trend line right so you click on add button so automatically it will create on trend line see here trend lines right it will create clear trend lines then uh, and also one more uh, questions i own a domain name and i have created a name id yes yes definitely if you have a domain okay say for example it's uh, uh, something like xyz at imaticus.com so with this mail id you can create if you have it then you definitely can able to create some uh, you can create the power bi service account okay so today we have seen yeah thank you very much uh, today we have seen so what is data warehouse right so this 10 minutes we will recollect whatever we have seen data warehousing so why do we need this data warehousing and what is etl process what is oltp and olap and what are the different uh, the etl tools are available in the market so what are all the reporting tools are available in the market so we have seen everything and uh, we have started with power bi so in power bi we have power bi desktop so i told you how to install this power bi desktop so you can go to the google and then uh, type power bi desktop download uh, you can go to this uh, download options you can just click on the exe file 64 bit os you can uh, install it okay it will get installed so after that the data sources are very important so we have taken the data sources as uh, the oracle uh, data sources right uh, we have seen some different tables like employees department and locations and we have the uh, the different data sources like uh, an excel file we have taken the sample superstore there we have created some different different views right so we have connected so three different uh, the modules are available in power bi the first module is data modeling uh, first one is data modeling second one is data it's like a dax, DAX formulas i will tell you tomorrow then reports so so this is the reports in reports we have the three options one is the table filters uh, sorry the field visualization and then filters right so filter also three options are there filter for the particular visualization filter for the entire page filter for the all the pages okay there are three different filters are there in filter we have three options one is basic filter advanced filter and top end filter right so so then formatting so we have seen that formatting and analytics side we have seen that different analytics, analytics side like constant line trend line uh, the average line everything we have seen right so we have created the, the pie chart donut chart and we have seen some text tables so tomorrow we will see all other remaining chart and uh, we will we will see that so power bi some power bi code editor okay power editor and then we will see that the DAX formulas also. This is very simple. You can connect to this data sources and you can able to get it. 
so as i told you like uh, the data set if you do not have any data set you can go to this data.world.com from there you can download uh, whatever the data set you want to have okay so data yes oracle downloading yeah oracle downloading you can di directly go to this particular page say for example oracle uh, what is the version you want to have for example oracle 19c express edition download you can just simply type it oracle 19c express edition download it will go to this particular page right so from there you can go to this the page for downloading you need to have the sign in option so 18c only is available you can click on this 18c express edition so if you click on this it will ask you to sign in in oracle so i do have oracle account but you create one account it will take just two minutes okay username password you have already then provide or you can go for the create account you create one account in oracle it will take just two minutes you can download it clear okay so as i told if you do not have a data for this uh, particular uh, uh, the practice right so you can go to any data set okay you can go to any data set from here data.world.com so from there you will have the csv file right so you can click on the download options here then it will get downloaded okay it's very simple file this download option will give you the download you can download this data and then you can able to do this power bi uh, analysis so before coming for the next session so these things you got you should have completed you should have installed this oracle software okay oracle 18c or 12c or anything okay any one software uh, oracle or sql server okay any one sql server or you have the sql plus right sorry mysql so any one software you can install it or you can even you can take uh, the sample superstore yeah mysql server if you have uh, mysql you can take it uh, ms sql server you have so microsoft sql server you can take it so oracle you want to have then you can take it from the net and also i will give it to you so you try to connect with the data sources and uh, you create some different different views okay so can you create 10 different views by today so thank you for your time today Once again, very good morning to all. Uh, we will start our session day two. So today I will tell you how to install this uh, uh, this software. Hello everyone, welcome to Nikkei Tech Academy. In our today's session, we are going to learn how to install Oracle database in our Windows machine. If you follow these three steps, you can able to install Oracle database in your Windows machine very easily. Before going to do the installation, I will explain the setup so that it will be very easy to understand. And if any issues, you can able to solve it. So Oracle is a database. So that database we are going to install here. So we do have different versions. So in this session, we are going to install 
Oracle 11 G Express Edition database. Oracle has many versions. The latest version is 21 C. In order to practice our SQL, Oracle 11 G itself is more than enough. It is a very lightweight software. You can install any machines without any issues. So Oracle is a database. In this database, we can have a different schema. So schema is nothing but a subset of our database based on the different objects. So one single schema will have different objects like a views, tables, and synonym sequences, indexes, and everything. So if you look at this particular picture, here we have three schemas in one single database. So by default, Oracle 11 G will have a schema called a system schema. It is nothing but admin schema. So in real time project, only DBAs will have access to this particular schema. They will create other schema and other users. They will manage it other schema and other users. They will manage all the database related activities. In this 11G database, by default, we do have a schema called HR schema. It's a human resource schema. You can use this particular schema to create all the tables. For an example, for this system schema, we are going to use username as system and password we are going to have as admin. So this is the password you can enter while installing the software so that it will be easy to remember. Then HR schema, we can have the username as HR and password as HR. And we can create n number of schema here. For an example, if you want to create one more schema for practice, Yes, you can create a schema called core schema or test schema or any other schema. So here I'm going to create a schema called core and username will be core and password will be a core. In real time projects, we do have many schema, many users and each schema will have different, different objects. You can create a tables here. You can, you can create a tables here. So if you have access to this particular schema, in this schema, you can log in and then you can see all the tables. For an example, by default, Oracle 11G will have the seven tables. The tables are, we have employees tables, we have departments tables. So you can use these tables for the practicing purpose and etc. We have seven tables and here you can create n number of tables. For an example, I want to create my own table, customer table, I want to create, I want to create a product table. Yes, you can create any number of tables. So this is what the database we are going to install and we are going to configure different schema. It's very simple. Don't get confused. I will explain while installing. It's very, very simple. After installing it, you'll be seeing this particular icon. You'll be seeing this, uh, this particular icon in your machine. And this is the database. In order to query this database, we need to have a, a GUI tool, graphical user interface tool. This is nothing but SQL developer. You can have any other tool also. By using these tools, you can create a connection and you can query this particular database. For an example, you can query the system schema. You can query this HR schema. You can query this core schema tables. So this tool, we will call it as SQL developer tool. So we do have a different tools. You heard about the stored for Oracle. Yes, you can use stored for Oracle here and you can use SQL plus you can use, you can use a DB visualizer. So any tools you can use, not an issue. Whatever the tool you are going to use it, the underlying database is one single database. I hope you are clear as a first step, Download the software from the description. Once downloaded, you'll be having this zip, zip file. You can unzip the file. You'll be having this particular folder. See, so right click on this particular software. Once we have, we have given right click and extract to this particular folder. If you do not have WinRAR in your machine, go to Google WinRAR download and go to this particular link and click on download WinRAR. So this is the authorized software only, no need to 
worry about it and click on download winrar it will get downloaded once downloaded the exe file you can click on it and then install it it's very simple step since i have already installed i am not doing it again you can install it so first we are installing this in winrar or winzip if you have then you can use it right click on this go to extract so once extracted you'll be having this particular folder double click on this folder click on this oracle this folder go to disk 1 double click on the setup file click on yes then it will be preparing to install this is a page you will be getting it this is the oracle database 11g express edition click on next accept the license and terms and conditions click on next here so here this is what the destination for where it should be installed click on next year no need to do anything so this is the admin password for the user sys r system so we have to carefully choose this so always make sure that you are remembering the password the enter password i am giving like admin password as admin confirm password as admin click on next click on install it will get installed it will take 5 to 10 minutes of time depends on your system speed we will wait for it once installed then we'll go for the next step once installation completed we'll be getting this particular wizard click on finish we have installed oracle database and we will configure the connection in sql developer just to go to this sql developer folder double click go to this sql developer you can find sql developer icon if you want to have this icon in your desktop just to right click you can add to start or you can go to show more options and you can create a shortcut or you can create a send to a desktop and then it will create a shortcut if you see this you'll be having this icon in the desktop so just a double click on the desktop next time it will open here even if you want you can download the latest version from the net and you can use this sql developer so very first time it will take one or two minutes you can give no if it is ask any dialog box you can give no and you can see here this is the one you can see so what we are going to do so from this sql developer we are going to establish the connection through sql developer we are going to create a connection to this system schema and we will unlock the hr schema very first time the hr schema will be on locked state we will unlock it and we will create a new schema called core and you can use this schema for creating any number of tables just to open this sql developer you'll be seeing this page and this is the green color icon just click on this icon connection name you can give any name just i'm going to give connection name is admin user name will be system the password is whatever the password you have given while installing you can see here password i have given as admin so this is the username for system user and this is the password just you can mention this system and admin and you will be having a host name port number and the sid don't change this in your real time project you'll be getting the details from your dba or your from your team members by using that you can connect just to click on test it should be tested success you can click on connect so that means through sql developer we have established the connection from sql developer to system schema so very first time a hr schema will be on locked state we have to unlock it how to unlock you can execute this particular statement i have given the statement in the description just to take that and use it alter user username hr identified by password is hr account unlock make sure that you are running this particular statement in this admin schema just execute the hr schema will get altered we have unlocked it then click on this plus symbol name you can give hr schema username will be hr and password will be hr you can refer this particular picture this is a schema name username and password these are all the tables 
you can test it. It should be tested success. Click on connect. It will get connected. And if you open this HR schema manually, you can see the different objects, right? Tables, views, indexes, packages, everything. If you click on the tables, you can find a different tables here. So in your system, you might be seeing a seven tables like employees, departments, all this. If you want to manually check, you can click on this table. Yes, you can check the data and data model and constraints, all this you can able to check here. You can close it. And we are going to create one more schema, right? We have to create one more schema called core. Just you can use create user core. This is the user schema, okay? Identified by core. This is what you can create a new schema. Just you can execute it. A new schema will be created. New user will be created after that. You can use, you have to provide the permissions. You can use grant, connect, comma, resource to core. So this is what you can use. And just execute this. You have to execute this one. And you have to execute. Then it will get executed, these two statement. I have given these three statement in the description. Make use of this. Then you can click on the plus symbol. Then you can use the name is core. And username is core. Password is core. And you can test it. It should be tested success. You can connect. So we have created all these connections. So you can create any tables here. For an example, I want to create a table in this particular HR schema or core schema. So you can create it. So create table, table name. I want to create a table called product. So just you can open it. Product ID, so number data type. If you want, you can give the constraints, product name. So just I'm creating with only two columns. The same way you can create n number of tables. And see here, the product has been created. The table has been created. So you can check the description. I have given all the SQL videos. Watch it. And you can able to do the Oracle installation and start practicing it. And if you have any queries, you can post it on the comments. I will respond to it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you'll be getting all the notifications. Thank you. And I hope everyone have, have installed this Power BI desktop. So we will see this. Yesterday we have seen this Power BI. So why do we need this Power BI all those? Uh, I hope everyone is clear about this Excel. But the thing is, so there is a lot of uh, confusion over these tools, right? Say, for example, you have Excel, right? Excel also from Microsoft. Then you would have heard about uh, this tool called Power Query, right? So Power Query in Excel. And you heard about the tool called Power Pivot, right? Power Pivot. This is one of our one other uh, option in this Excel. Then we have Power BI, right? So what is the difference between all these? So Excel, Power Query, and Power Pivot, and Power BI, all those. So if you consider this Excel, right? So we do have from Excel sheet is from uh, 1970s itself. So it's a long, quite long time we have all this Excel sheet. And this Power Pivot, so for example, if, if you take Power Pivot, this Power Pivot came into picture in 2009, okay? So 2009 was the pub first add-on to this Excel sheet. So in Power Pivot, yeah, so this is the one we have, uh, uh, that is the add-on they have added in Excel sheet. So if you go here, in the Excel sheet itself, you can have the chart, right? So different chart, you can insert a different chart and you can have, if you go for the insert and you can have the views and you can have the, the formulas. If you see here, the formulas, right? So all these formulas will be applicable in the Power BI tool as well, okay? So you can see this, all the formulas, right? The financial formula, logical formula, text formula, date and time. So all the formulas which is available, and if you go here, you can able to find, remove the duplicate and the grouping and grouping. 
sorting so everything will be available here also so the same functionalities which is available in uh, the excel sheet as well so this is excel 2010 but if you go to 2016 version then you can find this power pivot and power query okay so later point of time like around 2012 they have introduced this power query so by using this power query you can write the transformation logics okay in excel sheet itself so in excel itself you can write power pivot the power query then after that they have come up with the desktop edition in excel sheet you can do only this uh, the data is from excel sheet so you cannot connect with the data from different sources and you can the desktop edition they have they have come up with the desktop editions of power bi in the year of 2015 they have introduced in the year of 2015 the desktop editions so wherein you can connect with the different data sources okay so say for example if i have very small company then i will have all the data in excel sheet itself but if i want to connect with the different data sources okay different data sources then this this power bi is the one option it can connect with the different sources okay if you go here you can able to find the desktop option right so there itself you can find the query engine so you can have the, the query engine here and also you can have the data model so yesterday we have seen the data model and you can have the reports right so report also so you can able to connect with the different sources and you can able to uh, create some views clear so what are the different uh, different tools are available so by using this power bi the transformations okay the etl process so if you want to do some transformation logic on power bi uh, desktop you can go with the transformations you can apply the transformation by using power query editor okay so this power query editor if you know in if you know this power query editor in excel the same thing which is available in power bi also okay so you can use this power query editor and we have we have one more option called the data manipulations okay so if you want to do any data manipulations so data manipulation in the sense so like you want to add some columns you want to aggregate the data so any data manipulations you can do by using this dax formulas okay so dax formulas by using the data so you can able to see the data right so data module so there you can use a dax formulas okay so dax formulas is nothing but by using this it's a data analysis expressions okay it's a data analysis expressions so it's a dax is nothing but so by using this data analysis expressions so by using this you can create a lot of formulas and we can go to we can go and uh, have many concept in this particular dax also so what are the different tools are available in power bi desktop so power bi desktop they have uh, they have come up with this tool around 2015 only okay so last five years only so we are having a lot of uh, uh, functionalities they have added so many fun functionalities and even the microsoft is having uh, they, they are trying to integrate a lot of concepts same like our uh, tab we have connected to this oracle database once again i will connect this time i will tell you that uh, you can click on more i'm trying to connect oracle database as well as sample superstore also whatever the the views we have created we can able to create it so oracle database you can click on ok now and what is the the, the database name you have to give it's a local host okay local host so click on local host then oracle will get connected it will bring all the schemas so i'm going to take the schema schema is nothing but subdivision of the logical division for example 
you have one one uh, TB of hard disk, right? One TB of hard disk. In this one TB, you are splitting the C drive, D drive, E drive, right? The same way here also you can go for the uh, the logical division, okay? For the better usage of data as well as access and privileges. Say for example, I'm connecting this employees, right? And departments. I'm just giving this departments and locations. So you have to understand. So if you click on so previously previous editions, you can find the edit options here. So edit option it will or transform data options it will directly bring you to this Power Query editor. If you want to do any transformation logic, you can use by using this transform data. But now I'm just loading the data. So just I want to tell you some of the concepts here. So what is the functionality of this uh, this data uh, model so that you can able to understand this data model as well. So once again I'm telling uh, we do have a lot of opening for this Power BI as well as Tableau. Okay, the thing is we need to learn this and we should have the very good hands on. Okay, so even in the market uh, there are a lot of profiles are uh, having for this Power BI. But we are not able to get the right candidates. Okay, why? Because they do not have the hands on. So do the hands on in Power BI as well as Tableau. You create as much as possible for the views. And so definitely you, you can you can uh, go as a fresher as well as experienced people. You can uh, make yourself as the Power BI developer, and definitely you can go and attend confidently the interviews. Okay. If you know this concept very well, so definitely you can get through this. Why? Because most of the companies are moving towards this Power BI. Okay, nowadays, even very small companies, not only the IT companies, all other companies, they are moving towards this Power BI as well as the Tableau. Okay, so we do have a lot of opening for this tool. So once again, I'm telling, so make use of this training program and then uh, do as much as possible you are uh, hands on and if you have any questions let me know i will help you out so whatever the issues are you are facing in power bi or in tableau also you can ask me i will help you out okay or uh, you want some some details about the power bi or the tableau you can ask me i will send those details okay now we will go with the uh, the power bi so what is the use of this data model i will tell you one more time so here I have uh, the data model. So employees table are connected with the departments and departments are connected with locations, right? So if you do if you do not have this relationship, you assume that if you do not have relationship, I want to find out how many employees are working in the country US. Okay. Or the city wise, I want to know the employees count. This is the question. City wise employees count. I want to create one reports. City wise, I want to uh, generate the employees list or the department wise, the count of employees. So go to the report. If I want to go for the, the city wise, the employee count. So can I take this employee ID from here? So city wise employee count. This is the report I want to generate. Then if I'm choosing the city, then I will get all the city here. Right? So whatever the cities I have, so definitely I will get all the cities, the, the different cities. So in the form of map, I'll be getting it. So I'm having data from different different cities, right? So I have a data, I have uh, uh, cities from the employee from Bombay, employee from different cities, Sydney, and employees from Singapore. Right? So I have a lot of cities that are available, and I want to connect, I want to get how many employees are there in each city. Right? This is the question. So then I want to know the count, employee count. So for that, I'm just taking this employee ID. So if you click on this employee ID here, so since I do not have any connection between this 
employee stable as well as location stable the report is not yet getting generated see here so here you are clicking on the column right so you can able to see this column and if you click on this column the employee id so here the filter on this visual city is there employee id is there so location is city and if you go this particular size right employee id if you go here you can able to see this count okay so employee id count i am taking i am not taking sum of salary or something like this okay i am taking whatever the column i am taking it will take the the count of employee but since i do not have any relationship between employees and locations the report is not getting generated clear so if i am going to give this uh, relationship between these two table and as soon as i am giving this relationship so location id to location id from here then i can able to see this the report will be generated based on this based on this conditions say for example i do not want this map the map size has been changed right the size has been changed now based on the city right so i am going with this bar chart you can able to see now so this is what you will have if you give the the data model the connections okay if you give the connections then only you can able to get the relationship between the tables so employees and locations if i want to get a consolidated report based on this the requirement then only i can able to get it say for example i need department wise employees count then i have to take the department name from here right so i am taking the department name from here and the employee id from here or department wise sum of salary so i am taking the sum of salary from here so each and every department i am getting the sum of salary the 6,91,000 okay 691k is distributed among departments so you can able to see the differences by using this chart right can you able to see this differences so what is the use of this data model so different views you can able to create by using this the data model i want to get the year wise the year wise employees count okay so year wise employee count in the sense say for example year wise the employees have been joined okay 2016 17 18 19 are something in the year they have joined so higher date based on the higher date i want to know this employee count right so if you click on the higher date you'll get the year so in the year i have to get this employees uh, if you are if you are clicking on the salary you'll get sum of salary if you if you click on this employee id you'll get the count of employee id joined on particular year okay see here the count of employee id so if you count all this employees then you will be getting uh, one or seven okay if i'm asking you to create the year wise employee count based on the higher date so this is what you would be creating it so instead of year can i go with month month wise the hierarchy if you click on the hierarchy you can see this month right so the month is there i i have to go with month wise employees count so if you look at this month wise so every month so january february march so 107 employees have been joined so it's nothing but it's not only for one particular year so for all the years okay for all the years there is employees have been joined so which month employee has been joined more on march right so after that the may month and then the september month september month is having very less number of employees have been joined but most of the employees have been joined on march january february and the june right so this is what you have to take the the hierarchy of this date column okay 
So if I want to know the quarter wise sales or quarter wise sum of salary or anything, okay, so which so which month the salary is more? From giving the salary is more, something like that you want to analyze it, you can analyze it by using the the date column. Whatever if you are if you are clicking on the date column, the hierarchy will be presented. Okay, I got one question. Can you explain one to many or one to one relations of table? So what is this relationship here? If you look at the relationship, the star represents many. Okay, the star represents many. This one represents so one. So one to many relationship. If you want to do the relationship, so definitely you need to have the common column. Okay, you keep here. Then it's showing like department ID and department ID. The column name might be different. Okay, here it might be department ID. Here it might be DEPT underscore ID. But the data type should be matching. Okay, you put a string. This is also string. Put as a, a number. This is also number. Okay, then only it will go for the joins. If you click on the double click on this edit relationship, so you get the relationship employees table. So whatever the table you want to have, you can have it. Departments table. So whatever the relationship you want to know, you can get it. One to one, one to many, or many to many, or many to one. If you take sample superstore, the orders table or returns or at the regions right it's a many to many relationship so i will tell you what is this say for example if you take all these three tables okay you consider this table i will tell you the many to many relationship relationship also today the department id department name okay then you have the something like location id location id then you have here location table you have the location location id uh, city and which country by using this join column only this is a table okay by using this common column only i have connected these three tables right employee id department id all those if you consider this how these tables are related with each other these two tables by using department table sorry department id this is the department table. This is location table. This table, employee ID and de department ID and department ID are connected. Location ID. So in the department table, the department IDs are unique. Okay, for example, I have uh, ten, uh, five departments in, uh, in my office. Okay, five different uh, departments. So only one time I can mention it's enough, right? So HR, admin department, sales department marketing department right and then you have uh, a finance department you assume that these are all the five departments are there so which is available in different different locations okay so 1100 1200 again 1100 so it might be same locations also 1400 or same 1200 also it might be okay so here the location is say for example 1100 you have the operations at different locations so this is the relationship among the, all the tables so 1400 1500 if i have uh, different locations six different locations then i will have the city here okay so you can say like it's a it's a california and then it's a new york this is uh, uh, chennai okay this is pune right this is mumbai so so anything okay so like like this you can have all this uh, the uh, the location ID, right city In country us us and then india 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 you can have data like this right so employees are you can have the employees are located at different departments again 20 also 50 also 30 20 10 here then 40 here right this is what the, the departments are, the employees are distributed. Clear yeah. on this relationship? Okay. So now, if you look at this relationship, so here I have one department, only one department, right? Only one value for 10. So how many employees can be there for 10 department in the employees table? 
how many employees can work in 10th department is there any restriction in this one particular department many employees can work right many employees on the same department so 10 again 20 again 10 right so 10 if you are going for here then many times it will be listed out right so this is the relationship of many to one sorry one to many we are going with departments table from departments table to employees table then this is called one okay only one value is related with many values in this particular table and also if you consider this table so in this location table location is one and there are in the same location for example same location 1100 there might be multiple departments is operating right so here also one to many clear so that is the relationship of this one so location to departments in the location is location table location is only one location but it is many departments can be there in same locations one single department might be many employees will be working okay clear now okay one more time many to many say for example you are going to order some product in the online or you are you are going to the shop and you are ordering some product right so you are the only one person you are ordering how many orders you can do is there any restriction so for example this is the order id okay so you can order the same person the person id here uh, <coughs> many orders you can place right you can place many order right many order you can place not the same id different id right so many orders you can place on the same person the person id will be one if you take here person id it will be only one person say for example it's one two three same person is ordering many products many orders okay so this is called order table and you are having some uh, i i want to know the regional wise order or how the orders happen okay or how many orders has been returned you want to know so in this table also return table also you have the orders right same the the multiple orders can be returned right so here also the orders will be mentioned here it's not restricted to only one order you can return many orders also so here the relationship you are making this order id and order id it's many to many okay many to many so many orders can be returned many times so this is what the relationship you will have so this order id is, will be uh, uh, splitted into multiple times in the returns table on the same here uh, this return id or order id can be splitted again multiple times here right so this is the relationship of many to many okay many to many and one to many okay so here i got one more question so get data okay so we are going with the get data more options right online services right so i'm going for online services yesterday i told even you can connect with any online portal from there you can get the data right you can get the data yesterday i uh, i was uh, telling about the online services you can get the data from even from the uh, the online portal also right but in real time if you think about in real time whenever you are connecting with any portal okay so that that should be a lot of security issues might be there so whenever you are connecting okay so normally we will not get it so github we will connect but any other site we are directly connecting so there will be a lot of security a firewall or security checks will be there okay the question is data.world.com so the data.world.com so if you click on connect here if you are trying to connect to this third party see here third party services right if you are connecting to third party services as i told so you have to be very careful while we are connecting why because uh, this will not be supported in real time 
so whatever you are going to uh, support with real time so there should be a uh, credentials right so the credentials you have to create with data.world.com you have to go there and create one sign in options so from there you have to connect it so what is the uh, uh, here data set name you have to mention it here you have to give the uh, one of the uh, data set the user name to go to that data.world.com there you will find this owner name right username and unique identifier of the creator of the data set who has created so it will be available here the url you have to present it here okay so for example in the url this one this is the unique identifier of the creator of the data set right so you have to give which data set i have to connect that's all if you keep your cursor here it is showing like the username is showing right the same way you go to this particular site that you can mention this which data set you want to have and you can mention this data id okay that is id and uh, if you want to see some select star from then the data will be fetched the data.world.com right they would have stored the data in the table format so data id is nothing but say for example if you are going with data.world.com right so there will be one id for any data set data.world.com we go here for example i want to connect with one data id this data set i want to connect i'm going to this particular data set if you see here the owner of this data set one minute we will take some data set here so one table is there so now you can find this data set right this data set if you click on this data set you can find uh, who is the creator of this data set so here, here we will have something like this the name who has created this data set you have to mention this particular uh, data set so that the, you can able to so you can connect it and say for example you see here so this is the one right data set by this person okay so if you are going to this uh, the person the name you have to mention over here so but normally uh, we will not do like this we will not go with third party uh, site directly in the real time so instead of that we will download the data set we will have some services it will be downloaded and from there we will be connecting okay so it will be sent it to secure server so why because it's a it's again the security of the data right so we we will have some firewalls uh, the data will be placed the data set will be placed in the uh, so you have to click on this if you are clicking on this uh, data id data set id it's nothing but okay so see here what is the data set okay so i will go to this this is the data set id so just to click on okay so we'll see that so it is asking that uh, sign in option right so here you have to do the sign in so you have to create first sign in data.world.com then automatically whenever they are updating the data set automatically your power bi reports will get updated okay clear no need to update manually since if you give the connections so it's again third party see here power bi is trying to connect the data.world.com right so sign into data.world.com to, to authorize power bi so you should have the uh, uh, the data.world.com uh, the username and password if you do not have so i will check whether i have then so you if you have you can give this user id and password so that it will it will connect it see here i have i have connected right then uh, so it is asking some permissions right so authorize power bi so i am giving that authorize power bi now power bi is trying to connect with data.world.com 
the third party site right uh, click on connect it is trying to connect with this coronavirus data set okay so there is something uh, a failure so username you can give like, uh, this username so that it's able to connect okay so i'm going to give this this particular name then i'm trying to connect you will see now so again i'm getting the error the contributor name i will use it so contributor name i will use that username so that uh, it will it will identify uniquely right so now it is got connected right see here it got connected right so you can able to connect say for example i want to know the full data so this full data is like uh, it is getting connected from that site and then it is taking okay you want all the data or you want only the new cases so you can load this data into your into your site get your data model so whenever there is a change happened okay say say for example they are updating they are updating this data automatically your power bi reports will get updated why because we have given the username and password right it will automatically go and connect it clear see here full data we have here we have so you can go to the data reports in the reports the left hand side is there any relationship between this employees departments and in the full full data is there any relationship we can create in the data model so the thing is you should have the login id login id for the data.world.com yes as you as you told there is no connectivity between this employees department location table to this coronavirus data okay say for example i got this data right i got this data the data is like we have a lot of data here so this is the data right if you consider this data we can able to see this the bi weekly cases right the bi weekly deaths country and date and something like this okay so you want to know this month wise uh, new cases month wise new cases how will you create month wise new cases so what are all the column i have to select if i want to go for month wise new cases i want to create a view so can i go with new cases so how many cases so far the new cases is these many numbers i want to distribute this one based on the month so here from the date i have to date hierarchy i have to choose the month right then i can see this the month wise account right so august month so only five days this is the count so january february march april may june july okay july is most whether this is the count i want to analyze it whether it is a count or some other aggregation i have made it how can i make sure that this is a count so if you go here on the visualization right on the visualization here you can find the values right so can you able to find the axis and values so axis is nothing but x axis value so axis what column is selected date month okay in the date field it has taken the month in the values you can find the new cases correct if you click on this arrow mark this small arrow mark it will give you one pop up so here it is giving you the the sum of all the values okay if you are giving the count then it will give you count as 111 right so how many count is having this okay i want to make this count in the the numbers numbers the count numbers in the uh, in the top side i want to make this numbers here or middle i want to show this so this is called a tool tip right so instead of tool tip i just want to make this count here the numbers here how can i make it go to this format 
in the format which option i have to select so look at this option you have to tell me that which option i have to select yes correct the labels option the labels option you have to see right the data labels just enable it how can i make it like it's a million right it's a million how can i make it in the middle or i want to something like i want to uh, format it colors instead of gray color i'm choosing the dark color okay the black color display unit i'm going for the if you want thousands you can go for thousands or display unit i can go for millions right or the values the orientation horizontal only but the position i can choose it for the inside center right so the color should be white color if it is white color then it will be good for the visualization right okay so i have chosen that uh, that the text size also i can increase it so that you can able to see very clearly so overflow text that means if you look at the january and february it is not showing the value right so why because it's it's very less it is not in the million okay it's not in the million if you are going with some other uh, format the k format the thousands okay so thousands also it's not showing 150k so whenever i'm going to make uh, the overflow it should be displaying but since the value is having uh, the size is having very less it is not display the background colors of this view so what is the color you want to have so some other color i'm choosing say for example some custom color i'm choosing then it will be displaying with some different colors so any other options you want to have you can have it so this is what you have to create the views the covid 19 data so will it get updated automatically when they are going to upload it yes since you have given the password right so we are going to so but we are not going to use this as a the power bi desktop as the option we are going to publish it so once you are going to publish it so we need to give that username and password for this publishing option also then power bi will directly connect to this data.world.com and it will get connected clear so tomorrow if the data is getting changed your data it, it will get changed so this is what you will connect to the database as well you will connect to the cloud as well okay cloud services also say for example for amazon s3 you have if you want to connect it so definitely you need to have the credentials so based on the credential it will get connected okay i got one more uh, questions uh, i could not able to connect to the data set of india covid 19 cases okay you are not able to get connected right so the one thing do you have the login id for data.world.com the first question right yes you have okay so any data you go to this data the con contributors right so you choose the username username why because power bi is trying to identify it based on the user username okay username so you give the username either this username or this username and the data set name is this is not the data set name if you go to this activity you can find this activities like commented on coronavirus data right so this is the name of the sheet okay the first option you have to give this name okay so not only for one person so the chat should be for all so the first one you have to give uh, this one coronavirus data the second one the contributors you can give this name either this name or this name the another name okay if you give these two then definitely it will get connected so whenever there is a uh, so say for example after 10 days you are seeing this data this might be instead of 2 million it might be 3 million or 4 million the data will automatically get updated so now i have to create one more uh, one more chart uh, the country wise i want to analyze the country wise 
uh, the total cases. So simply the country wise total cases. How will you find? You have to choose country year from year. So whenever I'm selecting the country, it will go to this the map only, right? Map only. I'm choosing that total cases. Total cases, country wise total cases. Then I'm choosing this total case. It will go to this country and see here size size is based on the total cases. So mostly like every country is having the same cases, but US is having like the cases is more, right? But it's 2 million, 2.5 million. But if you have uh, uh, the new data, it might be different, right? Total cases might be different. Uh, so if for example, instead of uh, this chart, I'm going with the the line, the bar chart. This is called blank. Okay, country name is not mentioned. Then United States is first, the Brazil second, India is third, right? So this is, I think it's a, the, the data is accurate, but here some of the data doesn't have the country name. So it's around 9 million record is there with the, without the country name. Okay, so this is something like junk data. Uh, it should be fixed it from the data end, not our from the Power BI end. If they are fixing it, they are, for example, if they are mentioning the country name for all the employees, sir, for all the cases, the patients, then automatically these reports will get updated. So to publish it, right? So you need to have the domain credential. I have, but uh, so my credential got expired since you can use only one time of your office ID. Okay, so I have already used it. It got expired after 90 days. If you have any domain name, you can get it. Simply you can up upload it. So, so to go to the publish, you can publish it to the server. Uh, same way we are having like a Tableau, right? There you can uh, you can publish it the same way here also you can connect it. Uh, I got one more question. Can we transform and remove the unnecessary columns before loading the data? Yes, we can do it. That is what the the transform data. For example, you have the null values, right? You have the null values in the data. Just I want to remove this null value. I want to remove this null value. So that is what we need to go for the transform data. Go to this transform data. Click on this transform data. If you click on the transform data, it will go to Power Query Editor. Remember this. So Power Query Editor is nothing but transformations. Okay, transform data. The option is called transform data. So how will you uh, open this Power Query Editor? In two ways. One is you can apply this transform data. The other one is while inserting, right? While getting the data itself. Say for example, I'm getting the data. So while loading the data itself, you can give that option like transform. Normally that is what you do. Say for example, I'm connecting it. While loading itself, you will give option like transform data here itself. Okay, so you have some some junk data is there, right? So this data you want to remove, you can remove it by using the transform data. It's not correct data, so I'm, I'm telling that by loading it, you have to click on the transform data. So after loaded, okay, you have loaded, but I want to do this transformation. I want to remove this null values. You can go here and transform data. Say for example, you have unwanted columns. Okay, unwanted columns, uh, the uh, first row, second row, or some, some columns are there, unwanted columns. So here you have the option, right? Use first row as headers. You have the headers, you can you can use that particular column as headers. Use headers as first rows. That means you do not have any headers, it will be removed, okay? So which column is having the data, the null data? on the, the total cases, right? The countries, countries is having some null data here. It doesn't have uh, the null values. If I want to remove this null value, so this is remove columns. The entire column will be removed. You can write one queries, 
but power bi uh, the power query editors by using that you can remove it or you can click on this column you can remove duplicate so then the duplicate country will be removed okay it should not it, it's not a correct option to remove the duplicate here but i want to remove the null values right so remove duplicate remove error change data type transform the data so lower case upper case trim so everything replace values group by pivot if i want to go for some, some change the data type right so you want to do some uh, duplicating columns so all these options you can go for but the thing is you do not have any the transformation logic here so here you can go for and you can apply some remove empty right so click on this arrow mark you can apply this remove empty then empty will be removed from this country empty data will be removed okay see here you have the filtered rows if you if you go here applied steps are there the applied steps you can able to find here then you can go to the home in the home you can apply like close and apply right so if you click on the close and apply i will come to this power query editor later i have removed that the blank values from the country it should be removed okay apply changes it is getting updated here in power bi only not in the sources whether it has been removed able to see that the null values has been removed right so this is what you have to do some transformation logic so what is that option yeah that option is uh, blank query editor what is the tool tool name tool name is power query editor okay see here if you keep the cursor here it is showing like use the power query editor to connect prepare and transform the data right so this is what it is showing like the transform data so you can apply any transformations by using this transform data we will see one by one so that you can able to get some idea on the data so the same chart so i want to duplicate the sheet then right click so this sheet you can duplicate it duplicate the page then automatically it will be duplicated so from here i am choosing this funnel chart not this chart remove it you choose this one you can go for the funnel chart then based on the country so you can able to see this funnel the first country is us right you have the, the funnel you can able to see this the us country if you have very less data you can able to see this okay how the data so how the other countries are having the impact and how this us is having the impact and compared to others right so you can able to see like a funnel so different chart will be there we will see one by one okay here we have seen how to duplicate the pages so one single page how to duplicate it so you know the filters right all the filters you know the the, the groups uh, the countries right uh, the tool tip the values everything okay so now i will go to the page number uh, 7 in this page i want to create some line chart so whenever you are going for some year or quarter which quarter i'm having more count then i'm choosing this quarter here okay so quarter or you can you can remove this and you are choosing this this chart first so for this chart you, you need to have the one date columns quarter wise so new cases right which quarter i'm having more so since this q1 is just started then q2 is having more cases q3 has been reduced and the q4 yes we don't have as of now in future it might be getting increased or decreased based on the uh, real data so this is what you can able to see even you can go for the the chart like this and you have the data or you can go for pie chart you can go for donut chart so whatever the chart types you want to have you can click on the chart 
So now we will go with the transform data. And also we will see this different chart is available. So whatever the different chart is available, we will see one by one. Okay. So we have seen so far like uh, the chart is bar chart we have seen. And we have seen that uh, the line chart and the area chart, area chart is nothing but you can go for the same line chart. So within the line chart, you can go with uh, the area chart. Say for example, here also you can go with uh, the month wise, month wise. So I can go with the month wise, the total cases. So I can go with instead of this, uh, this chart, line chart, I can select the area chart. Then this is what the chart you can have it, okay? So which month I have more? July month I have more cases when compared to other months. It's a month wise cases. So I can go for area chart as well. So even you can go for uh, the stack area, but I do not have any other uh, options. Say for example, new case, uh, total cases and total deaths. I want to go for and see here, uh, the one is like the total cases, so where the total cases are there and the total depth, okay? So the two line you can able to see, so where it is located with each other, right? So even you can go for this, this kind of chart and this is the total number of cases. This is the total number of the depths, okay? So two types of, uh, two measures I have taken, one measure is total cases the other measure is total debt. This is what you can able to see the differences. Clear? Okay. So now I can go for the other chart. It's like dual axis, line and clustered column, right? So one thing will be on the line chart, the other will be on the, the bar chart. Same way you can go with the, uh, the line and stack columns or line and the bar chart. So one measure I can take it like the month. So total cases, this is the bar chart, right? Within that, I want to know this country, how the country wise data is there. Okay, so I, I do not want this country as data and I can go for total depth. So this is what you can go for the stacked bar. Okay, so out of this, what is the depth rate? Right, so one thing you want to make a line chart, one thing you want to make a different, different chart. So month wise, the country wise or the city wise. So even if you are selecting the country, so if you are going with the country chart as well, this is like something like uh, you can able to see this, the, the total cases. So along with the, the number of deaths, right? So this is what you can able to see, but here the month is they not suitable the dimensions. So we should not consider that one. Okay. So remove this country. So if you are, if you are making the country, then if you are going with the drill down options, so like this, it will be drilled down, right? So again, you will have the drill down options. So if you do not want, you can go like this. So have the drill down options here. So this options will be expanded. Okay, okay, the hierarchy will be expanded. So it will get expanded based on the countries. So you can see the data like this, okay? But we do have more data. So whenever you are choosing this country here, uh, so no need to go for the drill down. So you can have it like this. So country wise or the month wise, you can see this total cases. This is something like the bar as well as the line chart. Same like our uh, tableau, the funnel chart, the waterfall chart or the scatter plot. Okay. Say for example, if you are going for the scatter plot, right? So for the scatter plot, you need to have two measures. So whenever you want to analyze the reports based on the, the quadrant axis analysis, then you can go for the, uh, the scatter plot. I'm going to have a new cases versus a new death. So I can go for this chart. So based on the scatter plot, right? So where this, this is, uh, Happening with the different countries, yeah. So our different month. So I say, for example, different quarter or different month. So I'm going with then the scatter plot will be displayed for the different month. 
okay where this data will be so this represents the cases also very less death also very less but here the new cases say for example this is new death so new death has been increased so when compared to others right so on this month of so this is the month of april then then may june right may june and the july again increasing so this is what you can have it on the the scatter plot okay so different different chart with two different measures against one or more dimensions you can go with the scatter plot right so this is what we'll go for the scatter plot then if you have the uh, the chart like the donut chart we have seen already uh, whenever we want to have something like a tree map say for example here we have, i want to go for the tree map right so for the tree map also you can have two measures okay two measures so one measure will be on the size the other measure will be on the color so uh, the same measure i can take total cases and uh, uh, the total death okay against any of the 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 dimensions so here also i'm going for the the year wise or the quarter wise on the three maps so since i uh, the total the total cases and the total year is only one year so i'm not taking the year i am taking the month so that the each month how the data will be okay if you look at here so total cases this is also total case on different different month so total cases total death total case total death so out of which you can able to find okay so where is that the number of cases and number of death so you can able to find the the darker color and the bigger size the size represents the the number of deaths is more than more in july right that's sorry total cases right so after that the total cases are are more in june and then may and then april and then august so very less in february and after that march so february march april may june and july so august still we have the when the data is getting changed so automatically the chart also will get changed so this is what the the tree map right so tree map then you you want to go for the map yes so if you are clicking on the simply a country and if you are going for the country wise total cases right so different uh, uh, measures i'm taking so by default country is the the option of the map so automatically will go to the field map sorry the map so the, this is called we are the the map right so normal map so you want to go for the field map yes it will go with the field map so based on this uh, the value it will create the field map it's getting generated so based on the color based on the color you can go for the total number of cases it is getting generated for each each and every uh, countries you can create the filters on the the countries so based on this you can filter out the particular country you can see this so total cases right so you can go for say for example you want to go for top five countries so here you can go for top five so top 10 or top five countries by value so which value total cases so you take the total cases here so top five total top five countries based on total cases so it will select the top five countries alone so here we have the country right so it has country like we have uh, the country name is asia and then you have uh, the the brazil then you have us and then you can have, you have the uh, here also you have the data of us you have you have the russia here right and india so these are all the countries you have and one more country you have this is uk right so so this is what is the spain you have and uh, so these are all the countries you have the data and it will so whatever the filter you want to apply you can apply it so that it will display only that value 
okay clear based on the filter conditions uh, fair based on the uh, the chart types you can select it and i got one more question so the way we use to publish our work in tableau how can we publish our work in the power bi as i told to publish this dashboard you need to have the option of publishing okay so if you have option like publish so you have to save this workbook so once you have saved it so if you have saved the what is the file name it will be taken as power bi file okay so power bi x is nothing but it will have all the x is denotes this the package workbook it will have all the uh, database connectivity informations and so you need to save this workbook say for example i am saving this workbook and once it has been saved you need to have a power bi service account so tableau you can use our own account and then you can sign in but for power bi you need to have the service account so without your your account you cannot publish it it's very simple if you have any domain name you can create one uh, email id and then uh, you can activate through the email id and sign in then it will get published in the report then whoever the user were adding they can able to see your data so whatever the pages you have created all the pages they can click on whenever the data is getting changed the data.world.com so our view also will get changed automatically okay so now we will see the power query editor so some other chart is left out right so you have the uh, tables we have the scene and uh, we have the uh, car chart so whenever you want to go for some 100 percentage out of which what is the percentage of uh, data we have you can able to see this so based on this car chart for example i'm going with the employee salary so can i create a chart with different so one page is on data with this uh, this uh, covid 19 data and one page can i have the other data the car chart yes i can have it okay so i'm choosing the salary it will choose this total salary so it will go for like 50% okay so 1.38 million so here then if you want to do some manipulations here you can go and do some manipulations also so what is the maximum limit you want to have and everything can mention over here and it will automatically get updated so millions don't go for thousands so auto like auto it's a uh, it will take automatically the values you want to go for so what is the values you want to check so f of x is nothing but based on the value it will have the colors so like this custom diverging you have you'll have the different colors say for example you have the colors on colors on continuous value you, you can go with this f of x and then you can choose the colors okay yesterday we have seen this uh, chart like uh, the question and answer it's like a artificial intelligence again you can type your questions based on your question it will give you the answer okay so this type of chart also you can go for so weekly cases this is what the maximum weekly cases so if you want to have only the weekly cases then uh, you can go for the weekly cases this is the the power apps from the power app you can add it some other views and by using this r and python you can connect to this uh, python visuals from here you can write your code here the python code so based on this code the view will be generated so you should know this python code before that so you can uh, you can type here the python code automatically it will create the view the same way you can connect with r the r also you can go with r uh, script based on the r script it will generate the code so this is what the different visualizations are available but more frequently we will use the bar chart line chart the the pie chart or donut chart the scatter plot map and text tables okay these are the frequently used and nowadays we are starting to use that uh, the question and answer also so we will give the control to the user the user will click on this question and answer they will 
do it uh, they will type the questions based on the questions they are chart will automatically created on the runtime okay so this is also one of the options we have we can uh, create it so now i'm going with the uh, uh, the data the transform data click on this transform data transform data is nothing but power query editor say for example data source settings you have if you click on this data source settings so there are two data sets you can click on this uh, the permissions you want to see the permissions you can click on the permissions and you can edit this permission also the privacy level so public organizational or the private so whatever the the privacy level you want to set it up you can set it up so you can edit it so sign in api token so it's a static options right but instead of that it's a dynamic one so api token will be generated uh, based on this token id uh, it will connect to the password and then it will generate okay so this is the one we will use in real time but here we will we cannot be able to create this token id at all so we are just giving that hard coded username and password okay so whatever the uh, the permissions we have for uh, local post this is for oracle you want to edit the permissions same way you can edit the permissions you can edit the connections and everything you can do it okay this is something like data source settings you want to do this settings but i want to go for transform data if you click on the transform data right you can see the options so left hand side you will have the uh, the all the different different chart so here you are saying that it's, uh, it's old up to 11 days right so if you are updating it it will get updated the data will get updated you can see this left hand side whatever the data sources are there you can see this data sources you can connect to the new data source you want to apply some uh, the reference data say for example you do not want to uh, import the data from external data sources you just want to uh, enter it here you can enter the data here itself and you can um, you can refresh the preview it will get uploaded so updated the data will get updated so if you do not want some other columns you can just remove this columns okay for example i do not want the columns you can click on the remove columns the column will get removed but you want to un undo the options then you have the option of whatever the steps we have applied right the steps applied steps will be there here you can just click on this uh, this mark uh, the int mark then you can click on it then this steps will be undo okay this step will automatically get undo then if you want to change this power query editor if you want to change the data type say for example this is the date right so if you want to do some date and time you can go for date and time also so you want to know only this uh, the number of days yes you can go with this whole number so if i want to go with replace current then it will change the data type and it will, it will try to change this how many number of days are there okay it will it will have some threshold date i think it's a uh, 1960 or something so from there it will find out the date or it will take some threshold value the if you are making the date so it will have that some threshold value based on the threshold value it will go for the number of dates so i can go for again date so it will go to the date here if you do not want any steps the right hand side it will have the steps right so you can remove the steps so click on this you have the option called remove empty and uh, date filters so you want to have only this date of uh, the particular date you can go with the date filters and you can go for equal before after between okay so is latest right uh, some conditions year year equal to last year so whatever only last year data it should be displaying right so i can go with the last year so it will go with only last year data instead of 2020 it will go with 2019 so filter is supplied right you can able to see this filter conditions so say for example you always you want to see this a data for only last year or current year you can apply like this 
If you do not want the changes, just click on the sync mark, then it will be clear. It will get cleared automatically. Okay. So now, say for example, you want to show only the current year data or current month data alone, then you can go to the date filters. You can apply a lot of filters here. Okay. So whatever the filter condition you want, last month alone, you can see the last month. This month, next month, whatever. Okay. So what is the difference between last month and July? Any guesses? If I'm selecting July and last month, both are same, right? What is the difference between last month and July? If I'm if I'm choosing July, it's a hard coded value, right? All this the reports will show you for July month only. But if I'm choosing last month, say for example, next month, if you see, then last month data it will go for August month instead of July. Okay, so currently, yes, you are correct. Currently, it will be same, but next month or in future, it might be different. If you are choosing any hard coded value, it will be a constant, but instead of that, last month last year it's a dynamic value right it will be fast so any filter conditions we can apply here so that will be on the date columns or say for example you want to go with country for only for india you can text filters right you can apply here and equals to india in power bi data are case sensitive okay if i'm choosing india then it will it will have only for India data. See here, you have only India data. So whatever the cases I'm showing, it's for India only. So then the filter is supplied. Then the filter option will be available. So if you do not want, I can remove it by using this clear filter. Then you'll have all the date, and even you can go for some uh, some contains option also. It's a wild wild card uh, match. So it ends with begins with does not equal so any filter conditions you can apply it by using this here itself okay so any other columns so after applying the changes you can close it say for example this null value you want to make this null value as zero so replace this null value as zero so here i do not have right so here i do not have so here the replace values so value to find it's a null right so you can mention this value to find as null and the replace with zero so if you click on this then wherever null comes it will replace with zero see here it has been replaced right there is no null value so why because some other scenario so null value if you have it will not calculate correctly. So instead of that null value, you are going for some the zero values. Replace error, you know, right? So if I am getting some error, you want to replace with the error, then normally the replace error will get NA for that particular column, right? So that NA, you can make it like zero, then you can, you can apply some zero. Transform, so round off values, absolute value, based in power so anything you can go for the transform data change data type it will change the data type if you want to remove the errors it will be removed if you do if you want the if you do not want the column so column itself you can remove it and if you want to duplicate the column you can duplicate the column here okay so this is what you can apply some transformation logic say for example on this particular column so I want to create one more column. I have based on this column, I want to create one more column. You can go to this add column. So here you can add some conditional columns you can add based on this column. And you can go for custom column. So column from example, you can make some columns based on the exam example, then automatically the column will be created. So for this, I'll be going to this employees employees uh, data source i have first name last name so i want to combine this first name and last name the combination of columns uh, to make 
the full time full name okay so how can i make full name see here i'm going to this uh, column from example from all columns i can go to this full name i can name it like full name so how it is writing the formula for us see here i'm just writing it i'm just making that formula as we are writing steven okay steven is the name right steven space king okay i'm just writing it i'm clicking on enter then all the names you can able to see here then formula has been generated right combine okay so text dot combine is the formula not concat so in, in tableau only there is the concatenation so whatever the way you want to know you can uh, you can do it here okay click on okay now then automatically it will create the column called full name for all other columns so column from all the columns select this phone number okay so for all of the record it is getting with uh, the different format here right so you can do the concatenation all those so I'm, i can i can make this column as new phone number if you want to do some manipulations on the column then you have to use this the replace formulas on the phone number column so that i will tell you now say for example here i have the salary right here i have the salary here i have the commission percentage i want to find out the total salary of each and every employee how can i find it the total salary of each and every employee what is the total salary of this employee that salary is 24000 and he is not getting any commission the total salary of the employee will be 24000 right what is the total salary of this employee is 17000 but some employees are getting commissions right some employees are getting commissions so we need to do uh, some formula for this to find out the total salary right so how can i make it so i can go for add columns custom column i can add it uh, i can make it like the column name is total salary okay total salary here you have to write the query okay i can go for if condition if salary okay if commission percentage is null okay if commission percentage is null then salary itself i'm taking okay i'm taking the salary so if it is null then i'm taking it's like a if then else condition only if salary is null then condition else part else sorry it's else else so everything is like a case sensitive you can you have to use like else here salary plus salary into commission percentage so this is what the if, if then else conditions so you have to make this way so remember this formula okay if condition then statement else statement so this is the formula for if then else so click on ok now it will calculate the total salary of each and every employee so if you are using directly that the total salary right it will not calculate see here i'm going to create a new column so i'm going to use this uh, uh, so duplicate column means it will duplicate it. column will be duplicated but i want to add some columns then i'm going to add the columns if i'm choosing new salary equal to 
salary plus salary into commission percentage. So if I'm choosing like this, salary into commission percentage. So I'm using like this. Uh, this is also, uh, say for example, it's a new salary. If I'm taking like this, it will find the values only if the commission percentage is C here. You can able to see the difference, right? If the commission is not null, you are getting the value. So those who are getting commission, you are getting the value. So salary is 14,000. 40 percentage of the salary he is getting commission. Then total salary will be 14,000 plus 40 percentage, 19,600. But to only these values you are, you are able to find. But others it's showing like null. So instead of giving null, I'm going for the calculations, right? So this calculation I'm going with. So if you want to edit it, you can get it the formulas. So this is the column, double click on it. You go with edit options. There you can find a lot of calculations. Okay. So whatever the calculation you want to apply, I got one question. When to use custom column? When to use uh, the column from example? Okay. So you you are creating a column. You are going to create a column based on some column values. Say for example, first name, last name is already there. You want to create the new column based on this columns. Then you can go for the column from example. That example I can, you can just type it. So whatever the way you want to have, then column will be created. But you want to do some apply, uh, some logic round of, uh, some, some logic you want to apply, then you can go for uh, this kind of uh, the new columns, okay? The custom columns should be added. You can go for this view data, uh, the go to columns you can go to the columns in the in the transform right you can you can reverse the rows so a lot of options should be there use first row as headers count the number of rows the split the columns based on some some numbers uh, rounding off right so most of the options should be there here here itself so once everything has been done you have to click on this option home. You have to click this option called close and apply. If you simply close it, then whatever the changes you have done here, it will not be applied. See here, I'm going to change the data type from uh, date and time to date column. So I'm going to make, make this column as only date, not a date and time. So these are all something like manipulations. I want to remove null values. So you know right how to remove the null values. So remove empty, it will remove all these values. You will have less number of records. You have very less number of record only. Record also will get deleted. The corresponding record also will get deleted automatically. The steps you have added, the right hand side you can remove it. So if you click on this, the steps will get removed. This is the option you have asked, right? So machine learning, right? So they have implemented machine learning concept in this Power BI. So you want to apply some machine learning, then you can, uh, you know the supervised learning, unsupervised learning, all those, right? So the learning algorithms, you have to uh, write it. So based on this, this will create the views. The chart will, it will create the data, okay? So numbers, you want to do this numbers, uh, decimal numbers you want to do the uh, uh, that uh, the remove rows bottom five rows uh, remove top rows right so blank rows you want to remove remove errors so whenever error comes it will remove so blank rows it will remove so all that all the null values will get removed if i have everything is null value it will get deleted okay otherwise it will not get deleted okay remove columns remove rows so you can choose the columns, multiple columns also, you can manage it. So like this, you can go for a lot of uh, manipulations here. The phone number column, I'm going to create this column. I'm going to add a new column, conditional column, something like conditions, okay? If the column name, if salary is greater than, if it's greater than 5,000, 
then output is good salary something like this okay then one more condition of adding if salary is greater than 15000 okay or i am going to make this as a 10000 very good salary right so some conditions i can add it so automatically it will convert this as a so say for example this one i'm deleting it else you can make less see the condition is not matching you are going for the uh, less salary so what is the data type of the uh, the new column the conditional column it will be a the character right so click on okay then conditional column will be created so based on the salary it will it will give you the result like good salary less salary right so less salary means less than 5000 sorry less than 10000 right so you have the less than 10000 you have the less salary so very good salary the salary is more than 15000 so here it is not uh, finding the value why because you have to make one more conditions how to customize since it is falling under two types of conditions that is why it is not taking that very good salary right so you go with edit columns so whatever the changes we have done we'll go with edit you choose this one as first then this one as second so based on that it will give you now the very good salary so this is the new column has been created based on the conditions this is called conditional column so you want to do some formatting lower of upper of trim function trim function you know right left hand side right hand side if you have any spaces it will trim it say for example here i have in the 106 only in the left hand side you have some space you want to do some trim yes you have to you want to apply some uh, trim functions you can apply it so you can click on here transform trim then 106 only see here so now the left hand side spaces right hand side space it will remove so before this you have space space only right but now it has been removed so why using this this kind of uh, transformation right sometimes the front end uh, the bpo bpo uh, persons they are typing the names right they would have given some space on the left hand side so we need to do some data cleansing in power bi so we will do this kind of uh, data cleansing here you see here i have removed the conditions now you have the space on the left hand side so this kind of uh, data transformations you can use it in the power query editor okay so you want to do some scientific calculations absolute value so what is this absolute value this absolute value is finding that whatever the minus value you have it will convert the minus into plus square root factorial whatever the uh, calculations you want to do add some numbers multiply subtract divisions percentage so rounding of right round up round down so round off everything will be there is even you want to find out yes is even yes so true or false it will find right c1 or c here number dot is even so it will automatically write that formula okay so if you clicking on that number dot so whatever the functions are available it will be there it will display all the functions and the numbers you can go with the numbers any numbers you want to go so custom column from example it will it will select all the columns you can select the columns custom column the new column will be added so invoke custom functions the functions you can uh, you can write the functions okay function queries you can write conditional column we have seen so index column okay from first column second column like number of columns from indexing duplicate the column and then formatting 
So whatever the format you can do is add some prefixes. Suffix you can add uh, something like extract. First characters you want to take. Length you have to find out. Range of values. Add before delimiter. Right? So something like uh, you can do this. Mm -hmm. These are all about the text columns. The numbers. Date. So you want to from the date column you want to find out the duration. Right? Time you want to date you want to. Uh, the text analytics. Uh, so you want to go for some something like AI function you want to implement then you can implement the AI function. So these are all about the transformation logic. You can go to the help. You can uh, you can see more Power Query editor. Some examples, right? So you can click on the help and then you can see how to connect with database and everything. You can see this uh, the steps to be mentioned. So this is also one of the very good site. So what is Power BI? What is Nextstar? What is Power BI? Services, so everything will be there. Getting started with Power BI desktop, so different concepts. So understand Power BI service. So this is the Power BI service. So we do have some uh, videos also. See, here, just you have to data set. You have to publish it. So this will be your uh, very good. So I will ping you this the link. You can go to this link. And then you can uh, you can go through it. Okay, this will give you a lot of knowledge for you today. So we will stop here, and we will see that uh, we will one more time we will see what uh, functionalities we have seen today. We have seen that how to I will send that uh, the Oracle software to that group mail ID by today. So by today you have to complete that uh, the installation part. Okay. So today we have seen that how to install this Oracle software. And so so what is database and how to connect with and how to connect with the different data sources like we have seen that the data.world.com also and uh, we have connected with different data sets like uh, the COVID-19 data and we have seen different data visualization. And we have connected this uh, Power BI uh, query editor. So in the query editor, we have seen some different different types of uh, the manipulations, right? Yeah, I got one question. So you were talking about the certification and interview preparation for SQL, Excel sheet, Power BI, and Tableau. Yes. So I will upload it. Okay. To the group, I will send it to the group. Whatever the group mail ID you have sent it. Uh, so all of you make use of use of it. Okay. Uh, today we have seen Power BI desktop, how to connect with different data sources and Power Query editor. And we have created different views, right? So you have to go beyond this Power Query editor. You have to learn most of the uh, the the languages. So we will call it a CM language in Power BI. So if you want to learn this M, M language, that is a different topic. Okay, we have a lot of stuff is there in the M logic M language. The language is called M. So you can learn it. Okay, since it's a Microsoft, they have named it as M. So for the certification part, right? For the certification or the M language is nothing but it's a Microsoft language. Whatever we are writing this query, right? Say for example, we are writing this uh, this language, right? This language. This is called M language. The formula. So even you can write the M language here. Based on the the language here, the the formula here, you can manipulate the data. You can cleanse the data. So you can, if you want to prepare for Power BI certification, so the certi external certifications are available. Uh, you can go. Go to this help. In the help, you can find the community also. Community is nothing but uh, the in community. They will be posting lot of doubts. Everything you can go through this community. There you can able to get more more idea. Okay. See here. They have given lot of uh, community, right? 
so in this community you, you can go to this particular topic so you can go to this for example you can go to this particular topic there you can find a lot of stuffs okay how they are creating the views so they have created the view and then they have uploaded it in the power bi service right so this is the power bi service they have created just we have how we have uh, created the same way so this is what the power bi service will look like once we have uploaded real time also we will see like this only it is getting loaded is get this is getting data now it's getting the data it, it's like a filter whatever the filter you are showing there it will be available on the right hand side so they have taken the same data corona 19 uh, covid 19 data see here so each pages will be displayed this place as the page by page page right so see here the page by page you will have the the options at the top they have created some donut chart same like bar chart and then they have created the the map views just they have uploaded so one of the questions i got this is the trend analysis right one of the question i got like uh, can we download this this particular chart and do the analysis so if the user if the user given that option to download you can able to download see here i can download this um, only this image right dot png is the image right so this image alone i can download it but the customer if the, if the user has given some other options different options you can able to download or dot here you can able to see this you will have the option to download yes you can able to download same like our tableau public view right from the tableau public you can download it same way here also you can download it but this is the view once you have uploaded in the power bi services so will you able to create the views like this by using the covid 19 data you can go to this particular link the community link so no need to go for separately you can go to this community link by using this help help options okay so i will ping you this chat you can copy it from here so in the power bi in the help option right help options we can go with uh, power bi community power bi developers even you can go for training videos so the training videos will be available you will have every videos will be from the uh, microsoft so will you able to create uh, tomorrow will you able to create this type of chart so please create it and do the hands on try to install all the softwares create 10 different views for today as well okay Very good morning to all. So far, we have seen how to connect with data sources, right? So yesterday we have seen uh, different data sources, like uh, we have seen the Oracle data source, and we have seen some of the CSV files. We have seen how to connect with some web services, right? The online services. The online services we have connected with uh, data.world.com. So there we have connected, we have uh, embedded a password and uh, we have we have connected through our Power BI. And whenever you are, your data is getting changed in this online services, so automatically our Power BI reports also will get 
refreshed. So this is what we have seen today on data source side. Like I hope everyone have installed Oracle software. And the CSV, you know already how to connect with CSV and Excel. And I hope everyone has connected with this uh, online services, right? The website, web, web portal, everything. So in this Power Query Editor, uh, we have seen uh, what is the difference between Power Query Editor and Power Pivot and Excel and Power Query Engine, right? These are all the concept the add-ons we have in our Excel, the new versions, like 2016 version, right? So they have the new versions, they have added this Power Query Editor, Power Pivot and all those. So this Power Query Editor is mainly used for to apply the transformation logic. So whenever, say for example, if you have any data, if you want to apply a transformation logic on the data, right? In Power BI itself. So yesterday we have we have created some uh, new columns by using our Power Query Editor formulas. So this formulas is used only at Power BI level, not in the database level. Say for example, you are adding a column, it will add in Power BI only. It will not impact on the existing data, the database, okay? So Power BI will write only the select statement from the database. So it will not impact on the database side. So this Power Query Editor, we have seen how to create a new column, how, how to create a custom column, how to create a conditional columns, right? So that is what we have seen. And so once everything has been done, you have to click on this close and apply. Then whatever the new columns or new transformation logic you have applied, it will be applied on the database in the in the data, in the data set, not in the database. Okay. So how will you go to this Power Query editor? So by using this transform data. By using this transform data, you can go to this Power Query editor. This Power Query editor will be open. It's same like our Excel sheet. Okay, in our Excel sheet also we have so it's advanced version of Excel sheet only. So you have all the, the home button, this uh, you can enter the data, new sources. So you can split up the columns into multiple columns. You can add the columns, you can add the rows and uh, remove the rows, right? So we have yesterday, we have removed some null values on the columns and we have uh, connected with data. So the transform, yes, you can do a lot of transformation logic. We have seen some of the transformation logic here, the add column. We have added the custom column and conditional column. So index column is nothing but the numbers, okay, the which number we want to have the columns. So and also yesterday we have seen how to connect with how to create the, the publishing the views. So you have created the views. You have a lot of views you can create by using number of pages. So once all these views has been created, you can publish the views and then it will be published, it will be published on the server. So we have seen in this help menu. So we have uh, seen some of the Power BI visuals. By using this, you can able to see this. This is what we will create and we will publish it to the server. So one particular page will have multiple uh, views and uh, by using this views, we will have how to connect with, right? Power Query Editor. So from there, if you go and check. So go here, transform data. So here you can able to find the help by. Right? So from here also you can go with. You can practice. So like this, say this is the uh, developer site, okay? So from the desktop, you can able to create like this, okay? If I, by using this, these are all the multiple pages, like page one, page two, page three. And this is what you have to create. Okay, normally this is what you will create, the dashboards. So based on the dashboard, you will be publishing it. So you'll be publishing it. So once you have published, then it will be available to the uh, the client. Okay, so over the access to this page, they can able to see this data. So in the community, yes, we can uh, we can see this uh, the blog as well, and you can able to see whatever so visuals we have. We can able to uh, see this. So this is what we have seen. Say for example, I'm going to connect with the data sources. I'm going to get data. I'm going to connect with CSV file. So orders, people and returns. 
So whatever the data sources you want, you can connect with. So it will be connected. If you click on transform data, so very first itself, it will open this Power Query Editor. So from here itself, you can do a lot of transformations. So whatever the transformation you are applying it, it will be there in the applied steps, right? So that is what we have seen. So once everything has been uh, completed, then you can go with the close and apply, right? So all this, whatever you have completed, you can go with the close and apply, and then it will be applied. So I'm just using this home button, close and apply, and I haven't done any changes here. Just I have submitted it. So once you are publishing, so you are clicking on the publish button, right? So once you are publishing, so along with this dashboard, along with this uh, Power BI dashboard, this data source file also will be uploaded in this server. So Power BI server. So that is what the Power BI will be running faster. This is called inline memory. Okay, inline memory. Inline memory is nothing but so data will be stored in the RAM. Okay, the RAM of the uh, the server. Then it will be connected. So now I'm going to connect with uh, the Oracle data sources once again. So get data. Click on get data. Go to this uh, database. Click on Oracle database. Click on connect. Okay. And provide the database name. Okay. So database name is local post. You can select whatever the schema you want to get. HR schema. Uh, departments. And the employees. And locations. Okay. So I'm just clicking on load. So it will get loaded. It's getting loaded. So all the data will be loaded into the Power BI. Not in the server, just in the desktop. Okay. So once you are publishing it, it will ask whether I need to publish the data or you are going to use as a live connection. Same like our tableau, right? Whether you are using live or extract. The same way. So here also you will have all the connections, the different data sources. So how we have seen yesterday, you want to many relationship, many to many relationship others. We will go with the data. Okay. So this data option. This is called so DAX data analysis expressions. So DAX is nothing but data analysis expressions. So you can have data analysis expressions. So by using this, you can do some of the data cleansing activities. Data transformation is nothing but you can do transformations. You can apply some business logic. You can transform the data. But data cleansing is nothing but you are deleting a data or you are you are modifying the data. Okay, you are applying some uh, transformations. All this on the data, then you will be going for that the. the the DAX functionality. So DAX is nothing but the data analysis expressions. Okay. So data analysis expressions. If you want to do any uh, calculated column or you want to do some calculated measures, you can create it. Okay. So you know, right? So in Power BI desktop, we have uh, something like this. In Power BI desktop, we have Power Query. So this Power Query, by using this Power Query, we can we can apply some transformation logic, right? We can apply some transformation logic. But DAX is nothing but data analysis expressions. Data analysis expressions. What is this? So you can do some data cleansing and data manipulations. Okay. So you can uh, you cannot transform the data, but you can apply some removing of duplicate, removing of null values. You can do the clean of the data. Okay. So that can be done by using the DAX formulas. By using this, you can create a calculated column or you can create a calculated measure. So what is in the calculated column on calculated measure? So calculated measure is nothing but say, for example, you have something like minimum. Okay, min of. So what is this min function will do? Even though if you have 
millions of record the minimum of some column to give you only one value right so min of maximum of sum of all those these are all the measures right so minimum of sales then out of all the sales value it will take minimum value the minimum of transaction rate so it will give you minimum transaction rate which is the minimum which is the older one maximum which is the latest one so this is what it will give you the measures so measure will give you only one value but calculated column it will give you for all the all the columns okay it will give you the all the columns so you can go here and go to the the data data column it will get loaded okay you can click on any one of the columns say for example employees i'm clicking on then it will get loaded it will get loaded see here it will get loaded so here you can able to see this new measure new column or entire new table so normally this new table option is newly they have added so this new measure is nothing but it will create a new measure for example i'm going to use for this salary column okay salary column i'm going to create a new measure okay so this new measure on this particular table it will give you this i'm going to create a new measure so it will give you only one value not for all the values okay so measure equal to they are asking what is the value i have to give so i'm going with sum of salary so i'm giving like this sum of salary it will give you this the salary value you can click on this this commit button it will create the measure values okay this measure values you see here the measure value will be available here so here i have the measure right so this measure value will be there you can take so what is what is the sum the measure you want to have okay so measure value say for example i'm going with the reports the measure value will be available if you take this then you can have this measure value okay sum of sales sum of sales is nothing but so what is the sum value you can able to see the sum of sales uh, salary value will be 691000 okay so like this you can able to see so 691000 to be distributed for this uh, across multiple departments then you can take the department id so from here and add it to the the access right so if you are access if you are adding the taxes then this entire sum of sales will be distributed among multiple departments correct so this is what you can able to see this access so you can you can do the formatting uh, whatever the formatting you want to do okay so you can do the analysis find where this distribution is different it will give you the where this distribution is different so this kind of analysis we will not do in real, real time just i'm saying that uh, we want to do some formatting options in our tableau we have if you if you click on the click on this particular view you can get data right uh, and also you can copy this as well so you can just copy it and if you want to paste it in the word document you can uh, you can copy it see here so word document or mail or anything if i want to copy just the static chart you can copy it you want to include or exclude or uh, so group the data okay or show data show data you know right uh, you can able to uh, show the data so here also you have the options show data so something like grouping it okay, it is grouped it so but i i do not want to group it the blank values is different and other values are grouped it so you can go to this data show us a table it will give you the table you can export the data also okay the data will be exported so for this particular view only show us table this view will be taken as in this way so both chart as well as table you can able to see here so if you are publishing it it will be published in this way so the focus mode is nothing but this is the view the customer will see so let us first complete our the dax formulas this is one of the measure okay so whatever the measure you want to create 
you can create the mesh different meshes okay uh, sum of select right so this is the measure but if you want to create some columns so extra columns so on this salary i want to create a new column so i can go with new column then yesterday we have seen some power query right same like power query we will have one so this column whatever the uh, formulas you want to write you can write the same formulas also you can write i want to make uh, salary plus thousand dollars then i have to use salary plus thousand so it will get it will get calculated okay so here whatever the salary we have it will calculate and uh, even you can able to see this uh, the groups i do not want you can remove it so you can also do the, the same thing whatever we have seen yesterday copy new measure new column reference data you want to edit the query you can edit it if you are using edit query then it will go to the power query editor only so, but i do not want the power query editor but this is what we will create calculated column and calculated measures okay so there is uh, there is no much the formulas which is available for this one so whatever we have we have already seen for this power query editor the same one you can use it so like this you can go for a number of uh, columns see here summarization you have the count average minimum maximum sum and count distinct so these are all the uh, summarization value we can put it so we do not have any log option here you have some some other options like the formatting right so you want to do some uh, currency conversion some currency format you want to check uh, some currency format decimal number whole number percentage you want to find out so for this salary column you want to do the percentage right so you want to do some currency yes it will do the currency so whatever the currency it has say for example uh, you have some dollars so automatically it will give you the dollar value so some something to show you that's all instead of this you want to go for some other currency then you can select it so any currency value you want to select it say for example it's india you can select the indian rupee also so these are all some some small small uh, the functionalities uh, we can do by uh, by using this uh, formulas okay the column level data so you can do something like uh, uh, the aggregations the percentage see here the column right so you can have this column so if you do not want you can remove this column so this query you can uh, just uh, click on cancel then it will be cancelled okay so whatever you have applied okay see here the the format so whatever the format you want to have the column name summarization display so this is what you can able to do this by using this uh, tax okay nothing else so these formulas you can able to do right so normally uh, whatever uh, summarization so by using dax you can do two things one is you can add a new column and the the new column additions you can able to do some uh, the transformation logic and data cleansing and one more thing is you can do the new measure so it's aggregated value you can create it so by using this dax that is what you can able to do and then so whatever you are creating this field will be available in reports whatever you are creating okay so now we will create some uh, different views but this is what they will ask in uh, most of the interviews okay uh, they will ask in power bi right how will you connect with different data sources and the, what are the filter types are available and what are the different visualization you have created so how will you do the data data transformations so these are all the options are available so you can create uh, this publish option right if you are publishing it so definitely last for the here i have uh, the file so if i have existing one you can open and get data is nothing but you can get the data so publish and you can publish it but you need to have the power bi service access then only you can able to publish it so i'm just copying it saved it just yesterday we have seen pix okay pbis is nothing but power bi the workbook okay so it is asking you to have the power bi account if you do not have you cannot create it 
so you look at some different uh, views by using this power bi the community editions right say for example here you, you can go to this community in this community there might be lot of uh, uh, the power bi solution they would have given right so you can go to this any one uh, see here power query so in the power query also they have uh, given lot of questions you can go there and you can find this whatever the, uh, the question they were asking you can you can check how they are making this the calculations okay and you want to know this the services services nothing but this is the one we will publish it you can go to this any one of the service okay so if you go here they will be giving lot of solutions okay for your the problems so whatever even you can register it so once you, you get register then you will also get uh, updated in this page you can even you can make uh, some uh, questions to this page you can answer that questions so you can try different different uh, views okay so normally this is what the uh, the services right say for example if you go to this view so this is what we need to create so these are all something like the overview or uh, it's like a text tables right so we can do this text tables here and the key influencer is nothing but one of the chart we have uh, which one is influencing more okay the value we can make it so based on this it will give you this is something like your uh, the funnel chart right so the chart type so this is the chart also we have the, the chart okay so whatever the chart we have right this chart the ribbon chart and this is the key influencer okay by using this key influencer you can create like this the chart like this which country is influencing more top seven okay yesterday we have taken that uh, data right from our uh, data.world.com so from there you can get it connected and then you can get the data you can find okay which seven countries are key influencing say for example here i am taking that some cities city i am taking so city wise i am taking the uh, salary i want to know which city having that key influencing see so yes what influences city to be so you can make whatever the city you want to have you can you can make it okay the numbers so it will tell you what is the functionality of this so which one how it is influencing salary based on the city uh, say for example most of the cases uh, we will not get the correct data okay so we will, we will be getting the data from different different data sources different different tables so what we will do so base table will be there on top of the base table we will create a views okay on top of the base table we will create the views so in this view we will bring whatever the columns whatever the calculations we need to have okay by writing some sql queries so you can write some sql query right create or replace view view name by using that select statement so you can do the data manipulations most of the data manipulations on the database side itself then you are creating the views then it will be performing well okay so if you are doing lot of calculation in power bi or tableau you'll, you will feel some performance issue so normally in our real time definitely we have enterprise editions that enterprise edition the license sold right the server uh, the data side we will have all the data in the server itself uh, the tableau server or power bi server it will be there in ram of the server right so we are while publishing it here so this is the publishing option so when we are publishing it we will publish two things one is we are going to publish our dashboard the other one is we are going to publish our data sources so it will ask whether you want to go for live connections or publishing it so normally we will publish it data sources so it will be there in power bi itself or server uh, server itself tableau or power bi server itself so the 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 recommendation of the calculation is do the calculation most of the calculation in database level itself create a view you do the uh, calculations in the database itself data modeling everything you do the database itself and bring the data transform data to power bi or tableau you do minimal calculations here and you can uh, create the reports okay so that will be the, the better method whenever we are creating the, the dashboard 
so you are creating the dashboard there you are doing some aggregations on the data it will create but you are you are adding one more column a new column or new measures you are adding there you are you are doing lot of calculations okay so if you are doing lot of calculation on a huge volume of data then it will be slowly performing okay so instead you will go for you do the calculation most of the calculation in uh, database itself and then bring the transform data so it will be better say for example you have you have uh, bringing a 10 column from the database okay 10 column from the database mm -hmm. table it has only 10 columns but you are right. adding two more columns in the power bi or table level and then right. in the two more columns you are doing some aggregations okay some aggregations you are doing it so whatever the aggregation you are doing so that value will be stored in power bi only it will not go back to your database it will not be you can do this data manipulation in power bi but whenever the data is getting loaded right that time it will be, it will be calculated okay the column physical column will not be there so you are doing some reports so that time it will calculate at the new column and we will have something like incremental refresh right so whenever you are having new data that time only it will do the incremental refresh so that time only it will load the data the reverse side it will not be uh, it cannot be done you cannot create any column from power bi to database Say for example you have today you have uh, data sources right in the, in the data model you have created new view okay new columns you have added by uh, you are going to the data transformations there you have added new columns then it will be available right so it will be available so you by using this you have created some views okay page number one page number two or something you have added some views here page number one and two all this so after that after that you want to create some more views okay some more views on the same data set you can create it no need to add one more time the columns the data set whatever you have added right it will be available for your reports no need to bring that again and again the columns it will be added okay. automatically so whatever the column you are adding right it will be available only in the power bi server only the data source only it will be available in the server only it will be saved in the ram memory of the server okay so that is called inline memory concept right so we have in power bi as well and tab neutral uh, as well so next time you want to use the same column on the same date same opening that you can use the column no need to see here i have uh, something yes we have uh, uh, i just to open that so open a report so here we have the a lot of reports i have created say for example i think that okay two dot this file so here i have added some columns so whatever the columns i have added in this workbook it will be available this workbook that column will not be available same, same data sources employees table you take employees table if you look at here it's again um, so this view and all what about the uh, the color you are using uh, the color or uh, the views you are using so it should be uh, readable so it should not use that some dark colors so it should be the visualization it should be present so if you are using like this okay say for example in your in a single page you want to create some four or five uh, uh, different uh, chart here right so you can do uh, here you can write the text tables say for example in the top you can write some text text box something like this uh, you can create one text box here in this text box you can write so whatever the so this is sample dashboard something i'm writing dashboard so you can uh, you can select it and you can go for different format different colors so whatever the way you want to have you can create it but after that so you can do this uh, text box here you can create whatever the text box you want to have then you can have some filters right so whatever the filters you want to apply from here say for example this is the filter i want to go for only for this particular year right so then what i will do i will take some the order date on the filters so filter on this visual 
So you can you will have option called add data field here. So I'm going to take the order date into this visuals. So from here you have you will have the, the basic filtering, right? Basic filtering, or you'll have something like this uh, uh, relative date or advanced filtering, right? So the relative date is nothing but in the is in the last date, something like that. You to last questions so here format or so whatever the format you want to have you can have it so here and so whatever the uh, the filters okay basic filtering uh, you want to select all those or you want to select some of the values so it's uh, based on some date columns right it's a date that is why it's showing like a date i do not want the date i want to have only the year then what will you do remove this you will take uh, from the order date, you will take the year. So take this from order date. Go here. You take only the year part. So this year part, you can take it and then add it to this field. Then you will have the the filter. Okay, the basic filtering. You have the year 2015, 16, 17. So this filter, based on this filter, the data is getting changed. Is it getting changed? Yes, it is getting changed. You look at here, it will get changed. Then everything you are done after that you have to use this column whether it should be available for the view or it should not be available for the view. So you can apply this conditions. Then if you click on this, it is not visible in the view. Okay, this filter it will not be visible in the view. So if you remove this, it will be will you you should not add any other conditions here. Then you can lock the filter. Okay, you can go and lock it. So this is what you can do the lock. So instead of selection, selecting more options, you want to go over only one column selections. At a time, only one column you can select. So you cannot select more than one values. So we have uh, uh, some more doubts. We have few CSV files. Can we do some visualization queries on one of the CSV file along? Yeah, yes, we can do. We have workbook in Power BI to Hold multiple dashboards as inclusion of result. Yes, we can. We can do it. Something like whatever the formatting you want to do, you can do it. Okay, so you are you same like our Excel sheet. You want to do some formatting. It's a page level format. You choose entire page. So the page level formatting here will be available here. So format go here page information. So this is the page one. You want to do some something like uh, you want to rename it okay you can rename it and the page if you look at our page the background colors and all they would have given right the background colors all those so you can choose the background colors so automatically the background colors will be applied on the page so transparency you change it so something like this you are changing then the background colors will be changing. Okay. If you want to add some images, you can add some images. So here, so yesterday we have seen this kind of view, right? You remember? So with they were uh, creating some uh, the views. Don't go for some dark colors. So go for something, uh, some colors, some mild colors. So based on this color, it will be going for the the background colors, background images, all those. Okay. So this is background image. You want to add it? You can add the image here. Okay. Whatever the image you want to add. It. So page alignment, vertical alignment on top. Okay. So how these vertical alignments are there? You can see this uh, filter pan. So how where the fil filter pan should be there? It should be there in the right hand side or the background colors font. Header, everything you can able to see this right so you can go with this filter pan which is available for the user so i will take some different uh, data set so we will create some different different views so but this is what the page color you want to have the filter cards right see here the filter cards uh, you can have the type is available applied background colors Say for example, I'm applying some background colors. So this is what it will be available for uh, the filters, border color, okay, font and icon color. So everything will be there. You can check it. 
so this is for the the views you have you would have seen here something like this right so you want to make uh, the profit on top and sales sales also you just uh, drag and drop profit you have taken right the same way you can take one more field sales you can take should be text tables can go with text tables and sales amount also will be share, showing okay you can you can make the formulas the values you can make it like uh, um, colors background uh, the font sizes you want to make millions or billions uh, the scale where you can make it okay so like this you have to uh, create some small small views and you have to publish it so this is one of the bar chart and one is the other uh, pie chart we have and we have created some stacked bars you know right stacked bars stacked bar is nothing but within one single bar we will have multiple bars right here we have the uh, the subcategories so within each subcategory we have the regional wise sales so we will take the subcategory wise sales first and if you open this uh, region then also it will be uh, collected okay the field will be automatically collected subcategory wise sales this is line chart yesterday we have seen bar chart and uh, the tree maps all the tree maps will be looks like scatter plot the bar chart see here so like this you have to create some views right different different views so this kind of view we have to create so whenever you are going for any power bi or tableau interview right so these are all the uh, things you have to uh, concentrate say for example if you are going for tableau interviews so i will share this particular document to you so you go through it so everything you make sure that everything you are clear okay so on the sql part uh, these are all the things at least you should know okay, this is very very minimal uh, requirement so ddl dml constraint join uh, sub query set operators analytical functions and views everything then data warehousing concept so we have seen right uh, what are the data warehousing concepts are there dimension measure and oil tp oil ap etl process how the data warehousing will be working or so everything you have to prepare and tableau side so whenever we are going for uh, data sources how to connect with the different data sources that is called uh, multiple data sources this is applicable for power bi as well okay this is same applicable for power bi as well how to connect with the different data sources like uh, heterogeneous source systems data blending is nothing but join between heterogeneous source systems joins unions uh, some custom queries people write custom queries on the data source right live and extract uh, filter so here also we have the filters in tableau also we have the filter types so source level filter extract level filters sheet level filters that is measure and dimension filter then we have something like context filter so all this we have to prepare and the order of filter execution or the file format okay so what are the file format are available so this the sheet level these are all the things you, you should know dimension measure continuous discrete so even here also in, in power bi also we have the continuous and discrete right so whatever the continuous and discrete value so if you take continuous value on the color it will be the color will be diverging right so from from faded color to darker color you, you can able to see so that is what the custom diverging you can go for and the calculated field yes here also we have the calculated field by using this uh, power query editor uh, some example calculations you should know then analytic side something like constant line average line the forecasting trend lines drop lines everything you should know the dashboard 
so how to create the dashboard story uh, how to apply some filters dashboard actions so all the all this you should know so now we will connect with the data source okay so we will add uh, our sample superstore also so the forecasting right so you have asked the forecasting so normally we will go for forecasting at least we have some more data points right so we have the data points here we will take some date columns so based on the date column the order date for uh, four years we have see here i'm going with uh, uh, the different chart so i'm going to this orders so this is what we will do the forecasting normally i'm taking that order date so if I, you take this line chart you take line chart so you will take order date right normally you will go for the order date the date wise you can go for the sales it will do the sales right so you will take a date column the uh, axis and uh, the sales value in the values then here if you go here here you can take a date hierarchy instead of that you can go for order date so you'll have a, a, a particular date okay so each and every date will be showing here so you have more date so even you can you want to split uh, do some dates for particular data so it is the available for up to 2019 correct 2019 is available 31st 2019 so forecasting right so how to do the forecasting normally forecasting can be done by using the line chart right so i'll be taking the line chart here so just to take on line chart so for this line chart you need to have the data so i'm taking the order date so date column will be there then i'm taking the sales right so in the axis it will have all the the year, year will be there access should be the order date the values we should have the sales value so now you go go to this option you take this option from date hierarchy to order date so what it will do so you'll have option with individual dates instead of year you'll have individual dates right so individual date will be there it will go like this right the line chart so even you can have line chart like this you will have the data so from this data it looks like this it is it has more data but you want to restrict some data for the particular year so no need to go for this year and all you have you'll have the slicer right you take the slicer here in the slicer you click on the slicer in the slicer you take order date you have this order date here so whatever the uh, slicing you want to have for example i want to know from 2017 to 2019 just you can you can do this slicing operations it will have the value right so like this you have the value so between before after list drop down so whatever you want to know this slicing and all so drop down means this is what you will you will be able to see this drop down don't go for the drop down okay so you go for the between itself so we'll have the slicer right so this is what you you can add the slicer also for this view so this is the view now in this view i have to add some forecasting correct you have data up to 2000 december 31st december 2019 so you go to the forecast the analytics side here the analytics side you can able to see the forecasting option right can you able to see the forecasting click on this forecasting go a little bit down you can add the forecasting okay you can add the forecasting here if you add here you can able to see this 4th january something like uh, some 10 data points will be there right so this data points will be there uh, you can take in the data point you can take the month okay so how many month you want to have some six month you want to have right or one month you want to have some 10 months you want to have so five months i want to have okay forecasting length so you can go for confidence length go for 80 percentage or something if you click on apply then forecasting will be applied 
see here the forecasting will be applied then you can able to see this the forecasting right so lines you want to make dashed lines okay or dotted lines solid line this is the forecasting okay you have the data up to 2019 but it is doing the forecasting up to 2020 sometimes interviewers also they will ask uh, how to do the forecasting all those but whenever you are having this uh, this particular chart then only you can able to see this the line chart only you can able to see this forecasting option any different chart will not have the forecasting option for, for example you have here you have the order date so date wise i want to know the sales so you have the year wise right so instead of year i want to go for something like uh, uh, for the month okay so i can remove this year and everything then month wise you have something like month wise so consolidated month wise i have the data right so if you remove this this automatically it will remove so this is what you can have month wise so even you can have uh, the date uh, this is a consolidated month this is individual month individual date not month the data will be showing for one particular date so don't go for order date you can go for the date hierarchy on the month so this is what you would be creating it legend you want to add it so you want to add some legends say for example legend you know right uh, the color mark will be showing here so for this analytics side you will not have forecasting right see here i do not have forecasting the bar chart will not have forecasting the line chart will have the forecasting okay any doubt so far so this is what you will have the uh, forecasting option and uh, uh, different options on the line chart so whatever the different chart you are creating so i want to make this color like you know the continuous value right color is on um, less less value should have padded color highest value should have the darker color how can i do it this color i want to change it so go here you can have this data colors right go to this data colors you can find the default color right the default color you can and the data labels also you can enable it and default colors you can go with the f of x if you click on f of x that is expressions okay this expressions the color scale it will be showing some something like diverging you select this diverging so something like this okay sum of sales value if you apply this then it will be applied from faded color to darker color see now so this this can be done by using this tableau also right tableau we if you take the sales value into color this is what will be showing but here you can do it i want to make each so you want to remove this you can click on remove it will be removed show all values then each and every colors will be showing you can make different different colors so but here you need to make it by yourself by tableau by default it will take a different colors right the background colors so normally the chart background colors you can you can go with the different colors uh, don't go for the same colors you go for some different colors right so this is what you can do some uh, different colors you can give then your views will be appearing uh, very good you know the title right so here title you want to make the title option so you go go to this title and they, they can able to make this title here sales by month right that is what the title so even you can go with this uh, uh, based on the some field you want to go for the title the field values are based on some field so which field i want to go for the title but in this title also i want to do some formatting so whatever the color i want to have so choose the color accordingly based on that colors it will be displayed okay then you can make for this also background colors that sales by the text size you can improve this is text size for only for the title not for the this value here yeah, this is what the customer will see your data so different different formatting different style 
you have to apply some formatting that will take a lot of time. So here I have taken the bar chart, right? Here I have taken the bar chart. Now I'll go for the same thing. I can go for the uh, donut chart. So for example, here I'm going with the donut chart. The regional wise sales I'm going with. Okay, so take this region and then you take the sales. So regional wise sales. So normally if you take, if you click on one particular region, this is south regions. If you click on this particular regions, then automatically this view also will be changed. See here. This is highlight, right? It will be highlighting only for south regions. Then this is what? So it will show you the data also. See here, data also it will be showing. So even you can make control and then uh, if you press, then it will show two different values. Okay. So for this also, you can do the background, uh, background colors. So here you can choose it, go to this format. So here also you choose the data label background. So go here background. So this background is for that particular view only. So I will choose some same same background or different background. Okay. So the transparency can increase it or decrease it. So this is what you'll be creating a view so that the customer can able to see your viewers uh, in different way. So you can put some borders. You can put the same thing. You have to format it. Okay. So a lot of formatting options you have to do. So you are making this uh, this view. So this is what it will be showing for them. Okay. This is what it will be showing for them. So you can even you can apply some different different uh, views here. Whatever the format you want to have. So go to the view. In the view if you are choosing something like a different view, right? So automatically it will change like this. See here. This is default. If you want to go for something like different, you can uh, you can use some different formatting also. See here the background and all how this background has been applied. But this is something like it, you are not able to see. But if you change the background here, here, here and all, it will be uh, useful for you. Okay, something like this. So only one view you are making. So the see the background colors and everything. So here also you can change the background colors. Then for you it will be the view will be changing. So you have to do some uh, different formatting. So however we have seen that uh, formatting, right? So how to build relationship? So the relationship, whatever here, right? So automatically it will be built on. Okay. See here. If you click on this, it will automatically build the relationship. Say for example, this donor chart you want to view for one particular one particular month over month out. In the December, automatically the donor chart also will be changing. See here. It's changing, right? Out of this, it is changing. The power BI is the capability to do it. Automatically do. So no need to do you by yourself. It will automatically do this uh, the filtering options. So this option, right? So first you create one bar chart. After that you create one donut chart. Whatever the chart you want to have, just to click on this. Just to click on this particular view. Then automatically it will be created. The relationship. I'm not doing anything. So Power BI is the capability to the. Here you have the option, right? Say for example, I'm doing this this option. You want to go for filter. You want to go for selection, right? You want to go for some selections. Sales by month, or so you which one I want to do the selections, okay? So sales by month, or I want to do only for the bookmark. So it will be applied on the filters, right? So this is what it will be showing you. You want the grid lines? Yes, you can make the grid lines, or you can remove the grid lines. The grid lines on the background it will be removed. This this line, right? This grid line also you want you want to remove it will be removed. So how the mobile view? This is what the mobile you can able to see. So this is what the mobile view they will see it. Okay, you want to go for some page view. How this page view will get queued? You can go to this page view. 
so fit to page actual size you can see this so this is what it will, it will go for the page view so 100 percentage this is what it will show them for uh, for them it will be showing you in the real time so you can make something like the, like this small scale so that you can able to see how it will be viewed on the page the power bi page right published on the page so this is what will showing so that is what i told you need to do lot of formatting options you need to do lot of formatting options this is what will be showing for them it's a page view the page view you can make something like fit to page then will be fit, fit like this okay so you want to repeat me that uh, the relationship right how the relationship are created you want me to repeat see here just you create one view whatever the view you want to have okay so say for example i'm creating that uh, bar chart here i'm creating one bar chart so based on that uh, regional wise sales you assume that i'm taking region and sales so different regions and different sales you want to do a lot of formatting options for this you know how to do it right after that here i'm going for one more chart a different chart i'm going with field map so in this map i will be going with state wise sales state wise sales it will be creating the state wise sales in the in the values in the in the values i'm taking that uh, something like latitude longitude the format i'll be showing something like data labels zoom buttons if you want to have maps type titles so based on the sales uh, amount the value will be changing okay so here you are seeing this this way right okay now what i have to do uh, showing like location state it's showing and i want to know the uh, sales value also so we have the tool tip it's here california right i'm choosing only california automatically it is in west region this is what the california state sales okay or i'm going to choose east region from here automatically it will select only the east regions okay in the map also it will show you so west and or central and east region i'm selecting it so automatically it will show you central and east regions see here so it will be showing the central regions as well as east regions right so other regions it will not show you so based on the selections you are doing so it will be highlighting so this will be taking care automatically so you are not going to do anything you are not going to do anything this is what so kpi you know right this kpi is nothing but something like see here how the the regional wise kpi is giving you how this distribution is happening sales by regions or i'm taking some uh, different state wise if i ask some calculated field so something three values red green yellow it will show like a traffic light yesterday we have seen that this data right whatever the uh, new cases or weekly cases so for this particular data set i have to create say for example this data i'm taking country wise i want to know the total cases so this will show you that data right this will show you the data so here whenever you are taking the map so it will show you the size here size so you are making sizes on total cases so if the size is bigger then total cases more right so that is what it will show you so this is like simple map so this this map you are doing it right the same way some different different views you can create it uh, you can go for year wise uh, location wise whatever the uh, uh, different different views we are creating it will be created so you can add some filters the slicer so i will add the slicer separately so in the slicer i'm adding here one slicer has been added so in this i'm going to drag and drop this date column okay so date column so in this date column i can i can just i can make it and based on this data here also it will get changed you go for bar chart so based on the selections this also will get changed you can give them the control to the user the date range they will select so based on this 
they will go for the uh, selections okay the slicer also you can go for some formatting date input background title okay so so everything can go for the responsive okay with height so it's something like formatting only you can do this and then you can format it date inputs so whichever we are giving the date input right so font size you can if you want increase you can increase it then its place format will be increased this is the bit between keyword and the before before this date before 2020 this one okay or after i want to know so between you can able to see so something like this you can make the slicer then it will be showing you so this is the power apps if you are clicking on this it will be connected to the the power bi services so from there it will ask you to click so you can take some templates from there power apps you can bring some templates you can put some columns so based on the columns you are adding it will be generated the views will be generated okay so more visuals you can go from app store or from my files you can bring some static uh, visuals here so new visuals you can add it okay so just you are adding the new visuals here add text box you are simply clicking on any particular any particular view it will, it will add a new visuals only okay so refresh data this is refresh the data so whenever your data source is refreshing uh, this if you click on this in desktop we need to do manually or we desktop we need to do manually but in real time once you have published it will do automatically so you can able to see different different views now if you are if you want to see only for india if i'm clicking only india here automatically it will show you for india data you want to do you want to do for only for us then it, this is a data for us okay you want to know the uh, data also so show us table it will give you the data as well okay new cases versus total cases for 2020 tableau we have the option of clipboard right clipboard the data sources so clipboard option is nothing but you can add the data okay so some reference data you have some dimension data you have some some uh, some less number of data but you do not want to create as a data source you can add the data into this enter data see here in power bi also we have the option enter data you go here if i have some sample data here itself you can add it so column you can add one columns to double click on it you can have some some data say for example it's some data the column name you can make it like first name so last name something like this okay so salary so this data is now will work as the data source so you want to add some more data you can add it so this data will be used as the reference data this data is not coming from any data source it will create you can click on load you can insert the columns you can load whatever you want to do you can you can click on load it will get automatically loaded so that data sources also will get loaded on right hand side you can able to see this new data source see a table right something like this you can able to see this data two columns will be there first name last name, sorry three columns will be there here first name last name salary this is also will act as a one of the data source you want to go for some interviews so as i told even for freshers also there are lot of opening for this power bi you want to do some certifications it is not so if you want to do you can do it but it is not necessary that you should have some certifications external certification okay but you should have very good knowledge hands on you should have you should prepare lot of use and if you have any domain name you create on power bi publish views and publish it okay so publishing it's very easy uh, it doesn't require more uh, time okay just you can publish it within 5 to 10 minutes whenever we are going for the the power bi interview right so first of all you need to concentrate on sqls then you have to prepare data warehousing concept so why do we need data warehousing 
so what is this uh, uh, data values and what is dimension measure star schema snowflake schema how these data are related uh, how to create the data models okay so what are the the persons will be there so everything you need to prepare then the power bi so in the power bi right so first of all you need to so excel sheet at least you should know uh, the basics of uh, excel sheet concepts like pivot pivot options v lookup options and the basic some chart creations why because some companies they will migrate from excel sheet to power bi okay so that time you should know the power bi excel sheet concept as well so prepare that excel sheet con concept as well some basic concepts so how to prepare that so this power query edit power query and all the same power query will be available in power bi also so in power bi so we'll be looking for so first one is the data sources okay the data sources so different data sources you have to check this so data sources you need to find out all the data sources i told we can get the data from flat files right you can get the data from cloud we can get the data from rdbms okay data sources then you can so the rdbms cloud and everything then if the interview they are asking so will you do data cleansing at the database level or the power bi level so if i have huge volume of data if i want to do lot of uh, joins and uh, lot of transformation logic so better i will create some views on the database level so there itself i will create so if it is if, if it is required to prepare on the power bi or tableau level i will create the calculated field then i will do the transformation logic okay so that transformations you some some transformations you can able to do this in power bi only not in the database level okay so that kind of analysis you can do it in the uh, power bi and first thing is data sources the next one is inside this uh, you have something like uh, data model right so you use data model then you have the data uh, in the data you can apply some tax formulas and you have the report right so report is nothing but visualization right so you have the, all the visualization here in the reports we have uh, more topics right so you have the, the power query editor all those so you have the, the power query editor so you have the power query editor so power pivot power pivot is available if you want to do some pivot operations so power pivot is nothing but it's a separate tool but all these options are available in transform data this power query editor itself it is available okay power pivot and and the dax formulas and data sources different chart okay so this this things you have to concentrate different chart types formulas so if you are going for bar chart different different chart we have seen my request is do all the hands on okay so then only you can able to get it and how to publish the views publishing it then so the the main thing is uh, first of all you should know the version version of the power bi so what is the sometimes they will ask interview that which version of the power bi you have worked on so go to help in the help you can find that about right so if you click on the about then you can able to see this powerpoint version okay so 2.82 is the latest version 2.84 is the latest version but i have installed 2.82 okay so you can tell them like uh, at least this version 2.82 so if you don't know the version right they might be getting some doubts whether you have worked on or not okay normally you know the version of power bi you know the version you should know the version of database you should know the version of uh, any other tools whatever the tools you are using so why because say for example if somebody is coming for power bi interview right so the first question i will ask uh, if i want to check them whether they have really they worked on the tool or not i will ask so what is the version of power bi you have worked on okay so if they are selling that i have worked on like one year of experience in power bi or two years of experience in power bi if they are not or i have completed some certifications on power bi if they are not able to even tell that uh, the version of power bi they have worked on then i can easily identify that okay so this is what the so even how will you how will you work for one year or two year without knowing the version right so the version is very important 
So database version. So which data values you have on them? They will ask. Data values also it's a database only. Say for example, you you can tell them like I have worked on Teradata. Okay, I have worked on Hive, but you should know what is this. So if you don't know, you can tell them like Oracle or SQL Server itself. Still, the companies are using this kind of data variables also. Yes, Oracle also has data variables they are using. So this data, these databases, still small companies they will be using, but big companies they started using this Hive and all the Teradata and all those, right? So even big companies they are moving from Teradata to Hive environment, the Hadoop environment. Can so I got one more question. Can SQL and Power Query or Query Editor be used in together? No. So you are working on Power BI. From where you are getting the data on the database. So you want to do some unit testing. Unit testing, you know, right? So once you have developed your dashboard, you want to test it by yourself. That is the if the developer is doing the testing, that is called unit testing. So we want to test it that uh, this whatever the data I have created on the dashboard, it is correct. You have to give them the certification rights. Uh, you have to certify that this data is correct. So for that, you'll be using that SQL query. Okay, I got one more question. Can MySQL server? See, remember this, Microsoft SQL server. This is one database. Okay, this is MS SQL server. This is database. So Oracle is another database. How we are having the laptop, right? HP laptop, Dell laptop, Lenovo laptop like this. If you want to go for some, if you want to buy some laptop, you'll be going for different vendors, right? Based on your configuration, based on your budget, based on your requirement, right? Same way, if you want to, dip, uh, if you want to deploy your organization a database, either you'll be going with Microsoft or you'll be going with Oracle or you are going with Teradata, right? Or you are going with IBM, so the companies, right? So IBM, so whatever the database you are going with, okay, these are all the database licensed to one. So MySQL, MySQL is another database, okay, another database. This will be used for open source, okay? It doesn't require any license. Say for example, I want to start a startup company. So first of all, I will not have uh, enough money to have this Oracle or Teradata or SQL Server, right? It will be costly, very costly. In terms of license will be in terms of gross for per year, I'm saying. Okay, so I will not have that much amount to afford it. So I can go for this MySQL. It doesn't require any license cost. But the performance wise, it will, it will handle very less volume of data. Okay. But Teradata, Oracle, and it will be, they will give you entire support to us so that uh, the everything, the database setup, everything, they will do it. And uh, the thing is, you need to pay some amount for them. But MySQL, you have to do it everything. So open source. But the SQL is called the SQL, right? For all these databases, if I want to interact with this database, we should know the language called SQL. SQL is a language, okay? How we are communicating with each other by using English the same way you can communicate with this database like SQL. SQL is common, but SQL Server SQL and Oracle SQL slightly different, like 20% of the keywords are different. This is what you have to prepare by yourself for the interviews, okay? Uh, you can go to some, I told, right, yesterday, if I want to get more knowledge on Power BI, go to this community, okay, Power BI community. There, they will be posting a lot of scenarios. You take one scenario, you try by yourself that scenario. They would have given already the solution for that, right? They will they will come up with real-time uh, real issues. Uh, they'll be asking somebody, then others will be re responding it. Right, so this is what you can get more stuff with Power BI. Why do we need Power Query when Power Pivot can import data from mostly used sources? No, the Power Pivot operations, right? It will convert row into column. That is a pivot operations, right? 
normally in excel sheet uh, we will have the the pivot operations right uh, the pivot operations will do uh, for example uh, for this particular chart i want to do some uh, pivot operations you assume that i want to create here i want to create in excel sheet i want to create the department wise sum of salary how to create the chart so i have to create something like right so I'm, i have taken all the values we going for uh, insert the line chart so it has more values it is not showing you the department wise sum of salary right it is not giving the correct value so for this you can go for pivot operations so for example you can select all the values i can go for the insert option pivot table pivot table so which range i wanted to choose it you choose the range okay then for example here i want to create some salary sum of salary and the department wise you take the department id instead of values you go for the row level see here department wise sum of salary right for this you create some view so it's showing like department wise sum of salary correct so like this you can do pivot this is called pivot operations this can be done in power bi also the pivot pivot operations so some aggregations you want to do the pivot operations will be there so this can be done by using this so whatever we have in excel sheet so advanced excel is nothing but power the power bi whatever we have in excel sheet it will be available how to do certification for excel and sql and power bi so power bi you have external certification you have to uh, go to this powerbi.com you have to get some voucher okay voucher you have to buy it so with that voucher you can go to some pearson center there you can write i'm not sure about uh, whether it is available for now it's online or not so check it in the online okay so due to this covid they whether they have changed it to pearson center to or any other uh, options okay sql you can uh, do the certifications like oracle you have ocp oracle certified professional or oca oracle certified associate okay like this you are you will have different different certifications you can do it power bi also we have certifications you can do tableau also we have external certifications it will be cost will be for certification it will be around uh, around 20 to 25000 or 30000 i'm not sure it's a against dollar value also you have to check it so my request is you have to do lot of hands on okay you take different data i i have given you the guidance how to take the different data set you take the different data you do it like uh, different different views you try to practice slowly you will get the knowledge 